Hello, everybody. I'm assuming... Hello, everybody. Okay, wait, wait. I'm assuming that we're live now, actually. Hello, and welcome to Snoot Game. Uh, this is probably not gonna be a monetized stream. I don't know if they fixed any of the ad problems or, like, the, the music problems they had in Snoot Game. But, yeah, finally, I'm actually gonna stream this. And if you guys have played the game already, you know, spoiler alert, you already know what this screen actually means. Yellow, we snootin'. Yes, we are, Will Grimes. Grimes, thank you so much for coming back, man. Yep, you're all... Okay, I'm live. That's great to hear, so... Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, this is Snoot Game. And I'm not gonna lie, before I played Wani, this was the game I played, actually. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be quite frank. It is... Oh, wait, I, my, oh, you heard that, actually. Oh, I was gonna say... This is probably one of the best visual novels I've ever played. I'm not joking. If you thought Wani was really good, I recommend you should get this game. I should probably put the link for the download of Snoot Game. Uh, let me actually give you a link if I haven't already in the description below, just for you guys. Uh, if you want to buy it, if you, or it's not actually, it's free. If you want to get the game, here you go. I don't know why I didn't already have this. My bad. I'm stupid. I had like a week in advance to plan this. There we go. So as you can see, actually, this right here... It's Snoot Game. He started a playthrough yesterday. Well, Grimes, if you want, you can follow along here. Now, this right here, spoiler alert, this is actually, unironically, this is probably what started it all. If you want to know what caused Wani to come into existence, this right here is what did that. And I'm not going to lie, man. I'm just so freaking happy. The amount of inspiration this game has given me is amazing no joke so uh, with that having been said sorry for wasting your time let's get right into it so here we go january 6th year 21 m 2020 20 yeah sorry 221 two, million uh or two, 201 million 2020 bc volcadera bluffs weather conditions cold as balls it's my first time living close to water. The idea of marine layer is new to me, but I do understand morning mist. This was like it, except infinitely more shitty. The heavy fog makes navigating to my new school more difficult as I fail to see anything five feet in front of me. It's actually kind of interesting. Like a runt of a tree planted in the sidewalk that I swerved to avoid. Oh, geez. It's my first time having to walk to school, too. My new apartment is in an awkward spot. Opposite side of town, yet no school or public bus to take me from there. Well, it's my first day at a new school. I kind of like how this actually hints at him being in a pretty rundown neighborhood. <laughs> it's my first day at a new school. The second half of the first semester of senior year. Mmm. I had six months left at my old school. I can't even imagine the kind of hell those six months would have been. But this. I should take my mind off of it. I'll whip out my phone and consider the best way to make people upset online. Reply to the obvious chill thread. Bait to the obvious underage poster. <laughs> Bait. <laughs> the thread goes four or four right as I'm ready to post my well thought out reply. I better hide my phone before someone sees me sees fit to take it from me. The only human around town, I think. Darn. Alright. It's the sounds that reach me first. The chatter of people milling about. Bro. It's been too long. It was only three weeks. Giggity. <laughs> I can make out the building now. The fog shrouding gives the school an ominous vibe to it. I look at the name written on the arch over the entrance. Volcano High. Ooh, dang. Perfect setting for a horror game, or maybe a shitty WAD of a shitty wad. <laughs> Man, Silent Hill much? The attempt at humoring myself just made me feel more alone. Well, that's sad. I check in my phone says I'm 30 minutes early. Yo, he's got the freaking pocket mini, bro. He's got the pocket iPhone. <laughs> Look how tiny this thing is. Wonderful. He's got a tiny phone. I move to the entrance and I see all of the steps occupied by students. Oh, damn. Their eyes turn to me. Expressions of confusion and contemplation. Look at that little trigger down there. Look at all this. I can feel their judging stares. The same that had haunted me for, for four months previous. Wow. Oh, who is that? Some of these are different, I think, actually. I think they added something here. She's cute. I can already picture what they're thinking. Dude, check it out. 
Is that a skinny? Where's the spear? Aren't they all like spear truckers or something? Oh, wow. Bet he eats his own kind? They probably see me as some kind of circus attraction and nothing more. Jeez. Oh, and there's the... There she is. There's the snoot. Hi, I'm, a, I'm the freak show among the cereal box mascot crowd. That's one way to put it. Taking acid is not nearly as colorful as going to Volcano High. I should write that down. As I write, write that down on my phone's note app, I notice the surrounding students stop looking at me, which is good. I can peep around the friend circles without a problem now. Not like I'll ever be part of one anyway. Wow, sheesh, man, he's a doomer. Ooh, who's this? Uh-oh. Kind of loud. Talk about wanting to stand out. I never thought it was possible to look like you were from a black and white 20s cartoon. Jeez. She does differ from the other Technicolor students, though. In the worst way possible. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's staring at me with that look. Fucking hell. Has she never seen a human in her life? I fucking hate that look. Contempt. Judging. Everyone that has looked at me like that never proved to be anything more than an asshole. Like, I'm the anomaly here. She's just as dumb and insufferable as the rest of them. She's probably no better than me, miss. My snout is so big I can land a plane on it. Jeez. Go back to your friends. Oh, wow, she does. Huh. She did. I feel like I should say something. I noticed that all this time my knees were weak and my arms were heavy. Like mom's spaghetti. My feet carry me over the soggy grass as I look for somewhere else to be. On the side of the building is where I find sanctuary. Damn. First or second playthrough. This is my... This is actually like my final playthrough. This is the playthrough I... I my most recent one. I've played it like a bunch of times. Not even joking. Snoot Game is a really good game. It's a small alcove of sorts. The pavement is cracked to bits and the shrubs surrounding it are overgrown. Even the bench cracked paint on rotted wood held between two concrete, concrete legs match the abandoned vibe of the place. Alright. Interesting. Interesting indeed. It was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. Well, I love sitting on rotted wood, don't you guys? I love sitting on rotten wood. Literally best wood. All right. I flop down on the wet bench, and the violent crack from it makes my heart drop. Almost perfect, but good enough. I feel a tightness in my chest and my lungs fight to draw air. Head in my hands, I can fully understand what I've done now. Six months in a new school. A year on my own in some run-down apartment in town I know nothing about. Jeez, okay. all on my own. Three weeks. It took a day for me to want to change schools. Three weeks to make it happen, and now this is my life for the next year. I think back to my old man's ultimatum. Once the lease is done and on, either college or the service. I don't care which. I find it interesting how that's foreshadowing. Like, actually, no, no joke. Would you happen to be Anon? Would you happen to be Anon? Actually, I don't know which one of these. I'll look up. The bench broke down. Oh, that's a bro moment. That's a... It's kind of an L, bro. I lay on the ground, ass hurt from hitting jagged concrete and splintered wood. Thank God you're wearing jeans. Yeah, thank God for jeans. I forgot. That's actually what he wore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you okay? <laughs> Why are you smiling at me? Nice, sir. Don't give me that look. Jeez. I groan. Never better. I instinctively apply my chill guy facade in the presence of strangers to hide how uneasy I am today. A hand is held over my face. and my pain out of confusion? Or shake it. Nay, sir. Right, right. Dude, right. Oh, wait. It, it, his voice is actually... He had a voice actor in GVH. The hand tightens around my own and pulls roughly. Where it, st where it all started for me. I got you, Roboheart. The force is enough for my feet to get under me, stumbling back up the stand before the pair of strangers. It also felt like enough force to pull my arm out of its socket, jeez. Uh, so, you're in on, yeah? I'm glad we found you. Who are you guys? What do you, why do you know my name? Where are my manners? 
My name is Naomi, Student Council President and your guide at your service. It's my sincere pleasure to make your acquaintance, Anon. Thank you. We're your welcoming committee. Okay, then. Is that really necessary? I don't know. Is it a big school? Maybe. Seems pretty standard. I had this prepared just for you. Oh, wow. The orange one, Naomi, hands me a brochure. Volcano High in You, A New Beginning to Adulthood. The title alone makes me gag. Ugh. The orange one, Naomi, looks at me expectantly. The brochure is full of the typical trivialities. College prep, financial assistance, and after-school programs. None of it matters. Babe, I've got some things to take care of. Nacer looks back to the school entrance. I follow his eyes and see some people trying to lift a large speaker up the stairs of the school. Oh, oh, oh. I'll see you at lunch, right, Nacer? She looks dejected. Chuckles. <laughs> of course. It's like a gosh. That's terrible. Oh, no. Nacer pulls her into a hug and nudges his muzzle against hers. Is that how dinos kiss? That's a weird thing. Jeez. It's the cream commissar. The cream commissar. He's snooting it out of this one. <laughs> oh man. Jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, dude. This is kind of goofy. It's the cream commissar. Don't just <laughs> chat shit up. He leaves running quickly to assist with the heavy sound equipment. <clears throat> I turn back to Naomi. She smiles again, though there is a plasticity to it. So, Anon, why did you transfer here? The question catches me off guard. I freeze like a deer caught in headlights, scrambling to come up with any plausible answer. It's, a, it's an innocent question. She can't have known, could she? Chill, bro. What did mom and pop put in the transfer request form when they shipped my ass here? Uh-oh. Uh, I... You, uh, don't have to answer if you don't want to. I focus my attention on the brochure out of embarrassment. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Lunch. Right, I'm, kind of, I'm getting kind of hungry. What about something to eat? Yada, yada, yada. Herbivore vegan tofu. Disgusting. Wait, hold on. Carnivore line filet mignon? What the fuck is wrong with this school? Is there a soup kitchen or something around here? Oh dear. Anon, are you in need of financial assistance? No. I can figure things out on my own. Don't worry too much about it. Oh, the school here has programs to help its less fortunate students. The principal here is great. Come on, I'll take you to him. Oh no. The absolute last thing I want to be doing is asking for handouts. Ugh, this is, this is, gosh, this Naomi is cringe. Nah, the ma the ma Mandarin Machiavellian. Don't spoil. Oh, dude. Actually, I... Oh, no, he grabs my hand and... Ah! 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 Alert! Alert! DEFCON level 1! DEFCON level 1! Female making physical contact! Female making physical contact! Do not panic! Do not panic! Get a grip on the situation! This is Naomi! She's taking me somewhere by the hand, 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 hand! She already has a boyfriend, doesn't she? Wait. She already has a boyfriend! I am safe. Okay, okay, just stay silent, don't make a mess of things. Ah, dang. Guys, she has a boyfriend. Thank God, am I right? Thank God. I mean, I wouldn't think of doing anything with this chick anyway, but you know. <laughs> now I just need to do a GVH playthrough. Fuck no, Chad. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I am not playing Goodbye Volcano High. You know how much money that game? Unless, unless you gift it to me on Steam, I ain't playing that game. I ain't doing it. I ain't wasting thirty dollars. Ain't waste unless you like literally donate thirty bucks. Or some shit. I am not, I am not going to be playing fucking <laughs> Goodbye Volcano High. That game 
is trash. That game is actually trash. Unironically, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not doing it. Just because it's so bad. Oh, my God. I mean, it's kind of funny, though, the fact that this game is just so much better. Like, unironically, it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. It's just goofy. Like, I can't freaking believe it. <sighs> Chat, I swear, y'all want to torture me. Okay, okay, just stay silent and don't make a mess of things. It's so soft and smooth and surprisingly warm for scales. How lewd. How lewd. Oh, wait, have I disabled? Wait, 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 I, I gotta disable. I gotta go to settings. I actually have to disable. Okay, is this enabled or is it... Okay, it's un... Is this disabled? I wish it said disabled. Lewd images, I'm gonna make sure is disabled because I can't, I can't just, I don't want to get banned from YouTube. I don't want to get kicked out of the partner program again. Day one, and I've already fallen to such depraved lows. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Depraved lows is hand holding. Yeah, what a degenerate, am I right? Gosh, I'm so tired for some reason. <laughs> Oh my god, what a what a depraved psychopath, am I right? No, I am not enabling it. No, I can't do it. I can't. If I enable it, YouTube might ban me. <laughs> it's not monetized. No, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand. Even if it's not monetized. Even if it's not monetized, YouTube will still come after me, bro. Let me actually turn off monetization. J just in case. Alright, you want that? You want me to enable it? All right, I'll enable it. There, it's enabled now. I want to say, I want to say this right now. <laughs> Just to clarify, this is not for kids. I already put this as not for 18 only. Like, no, no younger than 18. But, I'm scared, man. I'm, I'm scared, man. Oh, man, this is going to suck. I'm not even joking, man. It's Again, I made sure. Like, oh, I'm, I'm again. Yeah, I've had it. I've actually been kicked out of the partner program before for a single short I made. Terrible. Welcome to the stream, by the way. If anyone's here, you know who's new. <laughs> oh man, this game, dude. This game is freaking awesome. But it's like, sheesh. I've always been kind of nervous about this stuff, just because it's like, you know, I feel like the, the biggest issue that ever arises is this idea of, and, and this is just me personally, it's like, it's like Snoo Game is super well made, it makes, if it makes you nervous, turn it off, dog. I mean, I guess I should, yeah, I'll turn, okay. It's just that I know that you guys probably want it because you're horny and you're you're cringe, but you know. Here we are, Anon. Oh what? Oh right. Now I'm knocks on the door. State your business. The new student needs financial help, Principal Spears. Let him a five. I think he means <laughs> I think he means the loan program, sir. Tell him to come in later. I'm dealing with another student. Deafing hell, do you mean I have to clean up after? Ah. The orange parasaurol office. Uh, how the hell does this man know this? Expression quickly changes from whatever that was to that same smile she's had up until now. Well, Anon, why don't I show you to class? Homeroom should be starting soon. Right, homeroom. I take out my crumpled schedule from my pocket. And Naomi takes the slip from me and blows my eardrums out with a squeal capable of shattering glass. We share first period in English together. I don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. 
Wow, really? I had no idea. Oh, you're gonna introduce me to people. Let's go. Thanks, Naomi. Yay, yay me. Yay. I'm so happy, Naomi. Thanks. I follow her after her to class on the second floor. The seats were being filled with students. I take one near the front, knowing I'll have to introduce myself. I'll probably be doing that for all my classes. F my life. Oh, my life sucks, man. I gotta introduce myself to the class. Bing bong, bing bong, ding dong, ding dong. The artificial ring of a bell blares from a speaker on the wall. With it, everyone waits as the teacher finally enters the room and shuts the door. Nice. It turns out we're all gonna be doing something pretty cool. Wait a minute, one second. I just checked something out, actually. Something's weird going on. Wait a minute, what the heck? Yeah, this is why I'm streaming here. Yeah, that's good. N nothing weird is going on with the stream, right? Just want to make sure. <laughs> it better not be. I I'm praying to God. Okay, good. Good, let me check this out. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, wait a minute, there's a duplicate stream key. Oh. Oh, that's so strange. But yeah, you know, this game is pretty good. I think the honest to god writing is actually what makes it so good, really, though. One second, let me actually reset. Well, it's probably nothing wrong. Just because, let me... I'm probably okay. But, uh, yeah, either way, I was just about to say, when it comes down to it, I'm kind of curious about how this whole thing is going to go. Like, legitimately. Turn monetization on, because I do need to make money. <laughs> um, you know. So, yeah. That's fine, thank you. The artificial ring of a bell blares from a speaker on the wall. With it, everyone waits as the teacher finally enters the room and shuts the door. Oh, hey yo, gozai masu korasu. Today, you habu in the korasu metu su boroe buru kenu hai. Uh, what? What? what, what? Enon Khan, please come up and introduce yourself. You're Suf. Naomi, <laughs> Naomi coughs and makes a subtle nod up. Oh, oh, I have to introduce myself. I stand from my seat and face the class. Once again, all eyes on me and the tightness in my chest returns. I inhale deep, willing my erratic heart to slow. Hey. Again, those eyes. Just like three weeks ago. Ah! My name is Anon. I, uh... Just like every day for the past four months. I don't really have any hobbies. I wanted to flee. Internal monologue. Hide away. Anything to avoid. Those judging eyes. What was your old school like? Oh, my throat clenches. I think backing into it all. My PTSD. My shell shock syndrome. Uh, I... There's whispers now. The hush tones. The silent snickers. Blending with the ever-present stares. My heart hammers at my chest, and I am sure that they all can hear it. See the cold chill racing over me. Enon Kun, you do not have to have a His words snapped me out of my trance. Only Naomi was looking at me. The rest were preoccupied, either talking about their winter break or catching up on sleep. They've all been ignoring me the entire time. Please return to Yoshito. Enon Kun, 
Hi, no Korasu. That was nothing like my Japanese animes. <laughs> Mr. Suki continued on, drawing what little attention there was to himself. I sat down, finally feeling the blood that had caught in my legs rush up, leaving me lightheaded. Okay. And I probably have to do this for each class today. Double fuck my life. Man, my life sucks. God damn, I gotta do this in class. Awkward introduction after awkward introduction to classmates that couldn't care less kept me anxious the whole morning. And there's still the rest of the day to go, Oh, oh it sucks so much. Poor Anon. He's gotta, he's gotta socialize, guys. It sucks. It sucks, guys. Eventually, lunch comes around. All the edible stuff is well outside my price range of fucking free, so I settle for a pseudo-pizza. The kind that becomes a viable weapon if you leave it alone for 10 minutes. No time to waste after exiting the line, I scan the lunchroom for an open seat. I thought I had found a decent spot in the corner when disaster struck. Said disaster was a hand grabbing my shoulder and turning me about. My plate of pizza-shaped cardboard threatened to smear across my shirt. I fought the momentum of the train until the hand that spun me stabilized it in me. Whoa there! Nearly dropped your food, Anon. <laughs> Come on, buddy. We all know you're too poor to get anything else. <laughs> yeah, whose fault is that? Yours? <laughs> Yours? I swear, I swear to all that is good and holy. <laughs> Want to sit with us? What? Want to sit with Naomi and me since you're new and all? He points to a table where the pink, the living pink sugar rush is waving. <laughs> God damn it. I don't want to make a scene. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Before I even sit down, the barrage of questions begins. Oh no. Naomi, please. No, leave me alone, you Mandarin creature. No. So, what do you think of Volcano High? How about your classes? You seem... I just nod along, starting to not pay attention. God, it's a wonder Nacer was ever able to survive near this chick. Near this Mandurian nightmare. You looking forward to the rest of the day? Not really. All these introductions, you know. I get you. Hard to talk to people you don't know, right? Something like that, yeah. Hell, last period I tripped in front of everyone. Talk about a first impression. I don't think they'd care too much. Have you had any trouble since then? Do you have enough food, money for food today? Oh, you shoot on, you're short on food money, man? Not really, just gotta sign up for some handouts. Naomi's starting to look disappointed. I'm only picking up on Nacer's interjections. Oh, that is kinda mean. I feel bad for her. If you need a bit of more extra chow, there's gonna be free refreshments at my sis, uh, at Fang's concert after school today. You're what? Your sibling, Fang. Your brother or sibling? What? <laughs> this is yeah. That's that's that was my reaction as well when playing this at first. Fang's gonna have some extra pizzas for the show. You could take some home. I uh, don't know about concerts. Not really one for public events like that. All right, man. Just thought you could use a few opportunities to make friends. What was that? I'll assume that wasn't meant to be malicious. I'll consider it. Hey, don't leave me out of the conversation. How about I help you pick out some cheap food after school? I know some great vegan shops in the area. No vegan, no one ever, ew, no. My stomach rolls at the V word, exactly. Thank you for the hearts, by the way, you guys. Maybe another time, sorry. Chat, chat, uh, this chick needs to get canceled. Mods, ban banish Naomi to the Shadow Realm. So, about the concert, Nacer. Aw, oh, man. Dinner and a show. Sign me the fuck up. Man, that is so... F I feel so bad for Naomi. <laughs> so, what do they play? Music. Music? Yes. What kind? The kind you listen to. <laughs> the kind you listen to. Well, well what genre? The, the good kind? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Nope. Well, free food is free food. I look at my pizza, noticing something is wrong. I test it with my plastic spark and watch the cheap utensil shatter to bits. I curse life for a third time today. 
The dreaded 10 minute mark has passed, rendering, rendering my pizza only useful as building material. Oh dear. Nacer, why don't you split your sandwich with him? But it's my sandwich! It's fine, I, we can split my vegan TLT. Oh no. Nacer shudders and looks at his own foot long to really sub longingly. Sh sure thing, babe. <laughs> he tears the sandwich in two and has the larger half. You know, oh man, poor freaking Nacer. Oh man. I don't remember. Okay, this may have. Did they update this game? Did they change it? Because I was about to say, man. I feel so bad for Nacer, but at the same time, he's a bro for giving me his sandwich. Like. <laughs> Here, Anon. I will never forget your brave sacrifice. Exactly, Anon. He's a true bro. He gave up his Philly sub for us, for our sake. <laughs> with with what we all dig into our meal. Or with that, we all dig into our meal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Naomi, I can't believe you're a vegan. I mean, it makes sense because you're a herbivore, but ew. Ah, I can't believe it. Such a hard knock life. My classes after lunch are the same as before it. By now, I had a rehearsed introduction that only the teacher cared about. My classmates were disinterested, and I would sit down to be forgotten. I hope the rest of the year is just like that. I think there has been some updates. Really, chat? I didn't know that. I just want to skate through it all. Or oh, I didn't realize that. I think it must have been a bit of time ago. Probably before my... Uh One second, just texting to do. Uh, I've been, I know, and stuff. It's about to say, man. Like, oh, shit. I just want to skate through it all. Sorry, I'm just texting to be. To I dig herbs. Jeff, get out of here. Jeff, mods, mods, banish Jeff. How how dare you say you like herbs? What are you gonna say next? You like crystal? You like crystals, huh? What do you like? Man, dude, I gotta say, man, I can't believe this man's saying... What are you, vegan, Jeff? Mods! Mods, find out where Jeff lives and post it online. Mods! Jeff! Chat, so everyone cancel Jeff. You farm them too, Jeff, you're cringe. I can't believe this, Jeff. Whoa, this is different. Auditorium. I wait outside the auditorium entrance with Nacer, who was checking his phone for messages. Wow. Right, Fang says the show is starting in a bit. See? Nacer turns the screen on for me. I'm gonna just let this. Let me, let me leave. Oh, oh, wow! This is different. I'm gonna let you guys. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys just nod to the beat, you know, for a second. Cause this is such a bop. This is such a bop, man. I'm sorry. It's such a freaking bop. Like, I'm not even joking. Bro, he just likes herbs and spices with his food. Shut up! He's a vegan! How dare you? How dare you? Right, Fang says the show is starting in a bit, see? Nacer turns the screen to me. 
Fang. Okay, sorry. Hey, Fang. Piss off. Is the pizza here? You can have a slice. But after that, you GTFO F. Dude, what does FWR mean? Chat, what does FWR mean? No, not what the heck. FWR means. Meaning. What does that mean? What does that mean? What is FWR? I've never heard of that slang. Like, what does it mean, actually? Oh, uh, for whatever reason. Man, why is she, is she so mad? At, is she so mean to Naser, man? Oh, FWR. Yeah, I was just asking that. Like, Frank and W. Roosevelt? Nah, fuck. Oh, wow. Fang's words, not mine. Wow, that's kind of mean. Is your uh, sibling always like this? Fang's... Wait for, wait for him to continue. Well, uh... I mean, kinda. Glad I'm an only child. Nacer glares at me. Oh, that was mean. Fang's still family. Ah, uh, sorry, just saying is all. This is very different. Nacer deflates. Poor guy. You're good, Anon. And yeah, they're family. Fang's just so, so difficult. Yes! Difficult! And I don't know why. Sounds rough. It is! It is very rough. It, it's in the next dialogue. You were right. What do you mean? What next dialogue? I'll actually admit, like... But I was just about to say, uh, yeah, what do you, uh, what do you guys think? I'm not even joking. Like, this stuff is kind of goofy. Like, like, I know she, they care about Fang, but Fang doesn't even want to be around me. Jeez. Man, Fang shouldn't be so mean to Naser. Hmm. Finally, the doors open. I smell the cheesy, heart-clogging goodness within. FWR, I was responding to... Oh, I see what you mean. My bad. I see what you mean. Okay, thanks. Thank you, chat. Sweet. Come on, Anon. This is different. A caveman of a man holds open the door for everyone. Oh, damn. It's, it's... Wait. His massive hand stops me. Uh, yes. I'm guided to the side away from the crowd that's filtering into the auditorium. So how are you feeling about our lovely school, Anon? Uh, it's a spear-shaped pin on his light lapel that reads principal that informs me of who this giant is. Oh, it's, uh, a nice. Cleaner than my old school. He guffaws and slaps his chest. Ha <laughs> ha! You can thank your classmates for that. What? Now, go enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Oh, I do need you to come by my office tomorrow for some paperwork. I nod and go back to the door where Nacer is standing, holding it open for the last of the audience to go inside. Poor Nacer, dude. I know, right? Dude, I feel so bad for Nacer, man. Poor freaking dude. He gets treated like trash. Like, legit. Man. Nacer leads me in the large crowd into the shitty school theater. The foyer has tables with boxes of pizza stacked taller than me. I just know Spear's wife has to be Fang from Primal. Actually, I think it is. I think I don't know if that was a fan thing or if it's been confirmed that that's like who his wife is. Like she's like she's like you know like Mo? Like she's got like the she got like the arms and so like she's the gym. Like, it's freaking cool. The foyer has tables with boxes of pizza stacked taller than me. Wow, you can take a couple boxes after and on. That should help you out. Well, who the hell got all these anyways? 
I did. I take a box down from the stack. Others have already started stacking their plates. I check the logo on the box. And to get somebody largest from Dino Mo's Pizza. That's a couple hundred bucks though. Meh, about a month's allowance. A month? That explains that disaster of a jacket. <laughs> yeah, I'll be real with you. This jacket is kind of trash. No offense. It's kind of mean, but yeah, let me just look at it, bro. So about the actual show. I'll check on them. Be right back. Left on my own to stack my plate with some quality grease top delight. Nice. I lean against the wall, chewing bits of Supreme and observing the rest of the crowd. Another shit show. She's so stupid. They even bother. Jeez. Bunch of losers. Why are they so freaking mean, man? Dude, these kids are ruthless, dude. Everyone seems to share the same sentiment. So why the hell did they even show up for this? The pizza. The pizza and a point and laugh. Those are the two main reasons. It's really mad, bad. The crowd moves in, though I hang back so I can talk with Nacer. What's with them, Nacer? What do you mean? The crowd, they're talking mad shit. What? Nacer grasps at the air, unsure what to think to, or to do at the moment. I think he's angry. <laughs> oh, shit, the pizza. Whoa, whoa, whoa. High schoolers, yeah. Ugh, I should have known. I don't. What are you talking about, man? I brought them here so Fang is an audience. Oh. Oh, Nacer's phone rings. He moves aside to answer it. Fa oh, oh, shit. The voice on the other end is loud and shrill. Yeah, I... Oh, jeez. Honestly, I kind of get why they are mean. I will actually admit this. You're kind of right. Nacer tries so hard to be a dad on a tr tropical vacation, a Japanese student with his jacket. I <laughs> That's one way of putting it. That's one way of putting it. But yeah, I was about to say, actually, like, you know, I'll be honest with you. I feel like it's a good point to note that Fang, honestly, because of her personality, like, you need to realize deep down she's a really good person. Like, she's someone who actually cares about those around her. But because of all her habits and all her like shit, like all of her like her like her facade, like her person, like her fake personality that she she develops for the band, she's a really egotistical person because she's trying to hide her fears and her, I guess you could say like her own personal disadvantages, like her own insecurities. There it is, and I really like that because it kind of shows like why people are it's so easy to hate her. Like early on in the story, like it's very easy to fucking hate Fang and shit because it's like. She's such a dick, you know what I mean? Like, she's such an asshole. He holds the phone away from his ear to save his eardrum. Ouch. Okay, okay, I... I'm sorry. Uh, uh. The call ends in Nacer sags. Ouch. Wow. I've gotta leave. Seriously? Damn, dude. Yeah, Fang doesn't want me here. Oh man. He said I'll ruin the show. This reminds me of my little, this is what my little brother is like every time he has a basketball game. He doesn't want me around. You know? I went to one and then he blamed me for losing. I'm not even joking, guys. Saddest thing ever, chat. My own little brother. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's like terrible, man. Like, shit. I mean, it's just kind of interesting how that works. I mean, I feel like I, I, the thing that's sad about it, yeah, harsh. I mean, that's one way to put it. Mhm. Mm Crap. I'll be real with you. Like, I think it's kind of crazy how. Just like, and and this is my personal perspective on this whole situation. It, it's kind of how, like, the fact that... I, I can relate to this. This is a relationship that I can kind of see and kind of work. Like, I, I, no joke, you know? Man, happy to hear
dude like honestly i i, I relate to this it's, it's harsh like but like yeah I mean, it's like, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just kind of sad, but yeah. What game? Uh, Yeah, it's Snoot Game. This is the game. You can check it in the link in the description below. Snoot Game, yeah. Harsh indeed. Look, whatever happens, promise you won't hold this against them. I ain't going to hold it against Fang. I won't. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. Like it's it's just kind of crazy. I just like I mean it's just kind of like it, it it sucks it sucks for Nacer but like I I wonder how. And this is just me. You know personally, it's like. Actually, meant to. Oh shit! Shit! I meant to share something else. I'm sorry. I'm texting someone right now. I meant to share. <laughs> I meant to share the channel. Channel, not this. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like you know, right now it's just crazy crap. I mean, oh my god. I mean, this is really sad. I feel freaking bad for Nacer because, like, you guys, I mean, this dude does not deserve all the crap that he gets. Like, it's flung at him in his life. Like, it's just not fair. I feel bad for his relationship with Fang. You are allowed to curse, I guess. I mean, as long as it's not, like, a, a racial slur. They're actually a really nice person when you get to know them. I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, yes, you're right, but, I mean, Fang is kind of mean to you, and you know her, right? Nacer, why did you just murder the English language in cold blood? <laughs> Within, I see the rest of the audience huddled in groups around tiny snack tables. By the way, do you want a do dollar or double it and give it to the next person? I would like a dollar. I would like a dollar, actually, Skull. That would be very nice. I need the I need the money. I need the donos. I need the donos because I am a I am a wage I'm a man with no life. It's very sad. It's such a travesty. <laughs> but yeah, if you can, donating is always nice. Yes, I would. Yes, I need the dono. <laughs> Where then I see the rest of the audience huddling groups around tiny snack tables. Even went to the troubles of switching out the seats for them. Naomi said it'd help. Aww. With a huff, Nacer turns away, begrudgingly leaving the auditorium. This guy does not deserve. This man. Let me say this right now. This man does not deserve all of this trash being sent his way. Poor Nacer, man. This dude does not deserve. This man does not deserve the trash being sent his way. This poor guy, dude. Oh, man, dude. No, no joke. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, I mean, really? I just feel so freaking bad, dude. Like, unironically for these dudes. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. It's like freaking hell. Like... <laughs> This dude is like a star student. He does all this stuff right, and he gets this trash. Man. Ah, I enter the hall and take a seat in the back, away from the rest of the crowd. Jeez Louise, man. This poor guy. The light's dim and the curtains are drawn open. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. On stage is a trio of people my age. Well, yeah. Duh. I think Fang is the drummer. He doesn't look related to Nacer. Maybe it is the main front woman. That must be Nacer's sister. Yeah, it's the chick. It's the snoot. What? Well, then why? Then why the whole confusion over her sex? For fuck's sake! Yeah, I know, right? I'm just getting thrown around today. I don't know. Oh god, she looks familiar. The band doesn't bother introducing themselves. Instead, the purple one begins plucking her bass. It all went tumbling down from there. Oh no! What I thought was a guitar sounded horrifically wrong. Far too heavy. The lead guitarist was using an effing bass. Ah! And then the vocals kicked in. Its horrific screeching combined with the melodious treading on a bass created a cacophony. A cacophony equaled. Oh my god, my ears. Oh my ears. Oh no, stop. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, bro. 
Oh, God. What were they thinking? It's freaking cute, angry video game nerd. What were they thinking? I look back to the crowd to gauge their interest. Surely I'm not alone to thinking in thinking this is an absolute travesty. Pfft, <laughs> they still fucking suck. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, oh, oh. Is that the Tumblesaurus Rex? Just remove them already. This is the future of music. Oh, God. <laughs> the worst thing that happens to just being, oh, my God. I'm majoring in art. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I can't even skip it. Average garage band music. Shut up, Nizzy. Oh, my God. Chat, stop roasting these people. This is a terrible moment for their life, man. Like, come on, man. Why, why y'all got to do this, man? Oh, my God. The crowd was standing, jeering and laughing with whoever said that. More words were said, but the laughter eclipsed them and the music. Wait, what happened to the music? Oh, shit. On stage, the trio looked panicked. The drummer was inching off stage while the purple bassist was about to break down into tears. Oh, man. But the front woman stood there, stood her ground. Fuck you! Screw you! <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. She tossed her bass aside, raising both hands and proudly displaying a finger on each of them. Fuck all of you. Oh, fuck, man. No one wanna... Oh, wow. That struck a chord with her. Oh, jeez. Just remove the N already. What N? <laughs> Raptor Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Terrible moment deserved, I guess. So I'll watch as she grabs her bass and takes the arm of the purple one, rushing off stage with the pink drummer. I am majoring in art, the band. <laughs> oh, God, I can't take this. I'm going to throw, I'm going to grow a six pack from laughing so much. I'm just going to grab my pizza and leave. Oh, jeez. I turn towards the door and see Principal Spears, a fierce glare gla freezing me in place. And on. Oh, fuck. His voice is even more stern than this morning. Oh, darn it. Uh oh. What the heck? What just happened? Whoa, what just Sorry about that. Experiencing a couple technical difficulties in the back. Apologies, everyone. My bad. The far right has a meme reference. What? <laughs> okay, I'm here. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, what screen resolution is this? Should be like 1080p. Sorry about that. Hope my mic is working. Is it working good now? I hope it's not bad. I don't know what the hell happened. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Let me put the music back up just for y'all. Sorry about that. That was just so bad. That was like cats dying. He looks to the crowd and then to me. I don't want to hear about any of this come tomorrow. I expect some goddamn maturity from you, Anon. You're a skinny like me. You're a caveman. You'll be an adult once you graduate. Oh, God. You missed it. It was in the last CG. It squished horizontally. Is it, though? How do I, like... How do I do that? How do I make it not squished? Uh, why me, though? Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> the game only runs at 30 FPS. Well, you know what? My I'm so good. The game is probably running at, like... 60 for me. But yeah. I've taught many students. I can tell these things. Uh oh. His hand lands on my shoulder. Its grip was firm and his weight on me. Listen here, Anon. You are not the only person in the world. Everyone's fighting their own battles. The hand squeezes me before pushing me towards the door. Oh, I want to see you in my office first thing tomorrow. Now get out of here. This is the only warning you'll, you'll get from me. Next time it will be campus cleanup. On YouTube looks squash. Been a recurring thing I've been seeing with snoot streams. Yeah, I think it's just because of the game. Behind me, the principal's voice shakes the room. 
Whose sorry ass am I going to have to suplex? Damn, you know what, man? This is what old school teachers should have been like, man. This is what school teachers should be like, principals and stuff. Like, hey, you do something stupid, man. You gonna get, you gonna get the belt, okay? You gotta get disciplined like that. You know what I mean? This is what teachers gotta be like, man. Bring back capital punishment. Bring back the belt before you get expelled. You know what I mean, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Child abuse. Bring it back, guys. Bring it back. <laughs> it's so terrible. Back in the foyer, or foyer, I see some boxes of partially finished pizza left. I consolidate them all into a pair of boxes and make my exit. Wow. The sun is starting to set now as I make my way home. You are not the only person in the world. Piffed. <laughs> like I don't already know that. There's like... The classmates that all ignored me today. Naomi's annoying ass. That effing caveman of a principal. Naser. Who's been in bro? Fuck yeah, Naser. He's chill. Naser's si Ugh. Oh. Shit. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck she is. <laughs> he should have full... Oh. Did I full screen it? Is it good now? Does it work now? Did I fix it? I just full screened. What the heck? I just did what chat recommended. The next day. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, 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 beep! Ah! Uh. <laughs> so bad. God damn. My version runs without the black side borders. Yeah. So now it's better. I fixed it. What the heck? I... <sighs> Why am I so technologically inept? Why am I so technologically disabled, guys? Oh my god. The bane of all sleep echoes violently by my head, swiftly erasing any traces of slumber. No slumber at all. Still, without the energy to turn the alarm off, I stare at the ceiling for a bit, recalling the events of the last few days as an exercise. The school, if you could call it one. My new friends, if you could call them that. The band, if you could call it such. God, great idea, Anon. Start the day by dissing everything you've done so far in your new life. No wonder you're so damn popular. Bro, you're the most popular guy ever. I'm so popular. Anani Moose. Finally, I lean out of bed and turn the alarm clock off. I have a good 45 minutes before I need to be at school. And it takes 20 to walk. That leaves 25 minutes to get ready. With practiced movements, I execute a proper combat roll from bed, tackling the floor and headbutting it into submission. <laughs> oh, fuck ow. My foe defeated. I groan and I groan in victory. <laughs> My new bed is half the size of what I'm used to. The hard war the hard wood or is it vinyl? Floor is cold as hell. From the purview of the floor, I look around with my room again. Yes, this guy, this guy is a giga chad. Yo <laughs> Yo, that's dope, man. Thanks. Yeah, from the pure view of the floor, I look around my room again. A tiny one-room apartment with only a computer, bed, television, and fridge. Literally the basic necessities. Man, you are set for life. A whole year in this shithole. Don't set. Wait a minute. You have a computer? You got a bed? You got a television? You got a fridge? This man has everything you need in life. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. What the fuck? What, what, damn it. What did I, I just do? <laughs> I just fucking skipped accidentally. Guess I gotta take it one day at a time. <laughs> Genuinely help, hope you have fun with this game. I already have had fun. It also broke my heart. This game broke my heart. And I, I, I've already played it before. But I'm playing it again on stream for you guys. Because the story is just that good. And they've changed some stuff. So who knows? I'm interested in the update. 
Picking myself up, I slide into today today's and every day's clothes and pour myself a bowl of off-brand cereal I picked up the day before. My eyes scan over my phone while I shovel my sugary breakfast in my mouth. Scroll. Crunch. Scroll. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> like a poorly oiled machine until it runs out of fuel with a noisy slurp. Soon enough, it's time to leave for school. I grab my backpack and slide it over my shoulders. I take my jacket off the hanger and... I talk about... Oh, I put the jacket... <laughs> uh, dude, I know that feeling where you're like, Shit, I gotta freaking take off the backpack and put the jacket on. That's See, that's new. I approach the grand building looking to uh, find a place in line between the other students trundling into the front doors. Toilet. Skibbity toilet. The halls before class are as crowded as always with hundreds of students filing in unison towards their homerooms. By now, I was starting to be able to make my way around an autopilot. I've walked the same path twice already, after all. Even after the longest sleep of my life, I still feel miserably tired and ready to crash once again. I found another entrance at the side of the school that has less students on it. The less the merrier. I check my clock once again. I'm early. Fucking hell. Should have shitposted a bit more. God damn it. Why am I here so early again? I think I had to do something. Oh yeah, it's with Principal Spears. I should talk to Nacer, give him my version of events. That way he won't kick my ass. Wait. Oh god damn it. The principal also wanted me to see me. Shit, probably gonna get some demerit or whatever rich schools do as punishment. <laughs> Can Anon even button up his overshirt? No, he's too masculine. He's too buff. Anon's too freaking swole. He's like that TikTok brimstrot guy. Like, you know, he's very, he's very, he's too buff, guys. He's got that caveman body type, you know? Fucking 10 foot wide chest. He's too strong, guys. Please, Raptor Jesus, just let this be the last time I need to deal with stuff like this. Get it over with so I can finally just slip my way through this year. Nacer's a bro. I don't want to piss off the caveman. I don't want to screw either of these, but I got to choose Nacer. Principal caveman can wait. I want to apologize to Nacer about yesterday. I hope I can be nice to him this time. Great job, Anon. He saves you from soy poisoning by sacrificing his foot long. And how do you repay him? By laughing at his sister. There he is. I hope he's not too busy. I just realized I don't know what to say to him. I wasn't laughing at your sister. I was laughing with the crowd who were laughing at your sister. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, that sounds bad. Weird sisters, am I right? Yeah, that also doesn't sound very good. I might be stupid. I just told him I'm an only son yesterday. <laughs> Can't help it, dude. Some people just won't amount to anything in life. So, oh, my God. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> This isn't time to be edgy, Anon. As I try and fail to find some way to explain myself to Nacer, I also fail at actually finding Nacer. Oh, God. <laughs> How the fuck did I even end up in the Tard Yard? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. After what feels like a space decade of walking, really just half an hour, I find the crippled Pterodon. Be accosted by a very pissed off, oh, a very pissed off purple midget. Oh, it's Trish. Oh no. <laughs> you know, it's interesting how the crippled pterodon. It's his wing, isn't it? Oh damn! Look at that trigger. Yo, look at Trish, man. She is so angry, man. God damn. Said you invited all those assholes. Wait, Trish, you don't understand. Don't cut me off, you great piece of shit. Students are clearing out of the way, just trying to get to their classes. This must be a common occurrence. The b diminutive Triceratops Trish bows her head and charges Nacer. Ah! <laughs> he just holds a hand out to her forehead. Get your hands off me! Trish, I'm not going to fight you again. The principal's already gotten on to me about the lockers from last time. Believe me, I had no idea the concert would have turned out like this. Liar! I just wanted to make sure you guys had an actual audience. What are you saying? You know what I mean. Come on. Arr. She stops trying to gore Nacer and throws her arms to her sides. Screw you! Even if you weren't trying to mess with Fang, screw you! Ugh, I'm so mad! She stomps off. She's so she's so mad. Oh my god, dude. 
Yo, that's a trigger tripper. You know what that? You know what that means? Can Anon Anon is ruthless as he is. I don't know what you retracted, Nizzy, but I, I'm concerned. I'm gonna check the the logs. What was that all about? Oh damn, Naomi's watching from the side. Oh, Anon, don't worry about it. It's nothing. You know, girl issues, right? <laughs> oh wait, sorry, sorry. Nice sir. You know, girl issues, right? I don't know about that. I don't know if that's girl issues. I feel like that's a people issue. Sure, yeah, girl issues where they try to gore you with their horns. Sounds like she was grilling you about the concert. Oof. Some concert, right? Oh, actually, about that. I, uh... Anon Moose! If you are not in my office within ten minutes, I swear on my dear family, I will personally mount you on my wall. This is this is how principals should be treating the kids, man. Kids are too unruly these days. This is how children need to do it. A layer of cold sweat makes its presence known. You know, this is the kind of this is the kind of principal I want to be when I get older, man. Like, shit. It can wait. The office is down this hall on the right. I know the way, but thanks. Nacer waves and heads off. Damn. Guess it's to the principal's office with me again. And thinking about him makes me f think about last night. You are not the only person in the world. And on. Poor Nacer, man. I just wanted to help his sister, but it's not like he did anything wrong. Bro, he is a bro. He is a broheem. Uh-oh, it's Reed. Just as I reach the office, the sound of clinking glass draws my attention to the apricot ass pen and some pink raptor. Is that contraband, Reed? Bro, you know I'm in a band for like a year now. No! Contraband in your backpack. Mm, no, nah, I left my games at home, dude. Now me face bombs or whatever counts as a face bomb with a stop. Reed, you have a bong in your backpack. But we aren't in Britain. Ugh, you're impossible. Naomi huffs and returns her focus to a stack of papers on the desk, leaving a satisfied raptor in her wake. <laughs> works every time. Yeah, dude, works every time, man. I need to learn how to do that. Agreed. It's all about misdirection. Yeah, dude. What? Deuces. The fuck just happened? Bro just got away from drug dealing. Just got away with drug dealing. <laughs> oh, Anon. I didn't see you there. Just in time to finish your paperwork. I love paperwork. Paper, what's it now? Go inside. Principal Spears will finalize it with you now. Paperwork? What fucking paperwork? I'm pretty sure all that stuff was finished before I even came here. Bitch, you done did it for me. I you signed my rights away. Now I'm a slave. Dang it, master. Whatever. Probably a detention slip or whatever the principal has planned. Hopefully not. Let me say this right now. As someone who's Hispanic, I know what it is. You know, someone who's Puerto Rican, to be precise. I know what it means to have to deal with the the master problem. You know what I mean? You know, my dis my ancestors, they were, they had to deal with that. I opened the door to the cramped office, expecting to see a gruff, capable workspace. Instead, it was a fairly well-furnished space, complete with armchairs and cabinets of old photos. And trophies, too, from what we can see. Master, shut up, Jeff. <laughs> you going to stand there forever? What are you waiting for? Shit. I plant myself in <clears throat> sorry. I plant myself in one of the armchairs and sink a bit lower into the cushion than expected. Perks of being a human, I guess. I believe I told you last night to be here first thing this morning. Shit! Tell me, do I have a stutter? Speak! No, no sir. <laughs> Please, I don't want to soil my pants. <sighs> Anon Moose, you are an idiot. Take this as a learning experience, Anon. Punctuality gets you far in life. Yes, sir. Sir. I let you off the hook last night because you're a new student. I meant what I said last night. Hopefully not about the whole pile driving thing, because I don't want to die. Still... I didn't bring you in here to lecture you. He didn't? Not many people have to use the school's financial services. What? 
That actually makes sense because it is kind of a wealthy school, right? The tax district is probably pretty large. Financial services. All the paperwork's done to get you a special, a special lunch card for the semester. You don't have to worry about paying until after graduation. No interest, no down payments, no none of that. Shit. I, uh, what's happening, sir? You signed up for the financial services, correct? Naomi told me you needed help with food. And even had the papers filed out. Naomi, she fucking, dude. I love how this is foreshadowing just how freaking manipulative she is. Because, like, she's, <laughs> she's literally, like, signing. She's forging signatures for us. Allow me to double check real fast. Naomi! Hello, tinnitus, my old friend. I hope we don't have to meet again. Uh, my ears. Meep. Meep. Oh, God, am I stuck like this? Dismiss, Naomi. And just to be absolutely clear, Anon, did you ask for this, correct? Well, he is in need of assistance, right? Otherwise, he's stuck with the budget meals. And on. I glanced between the two. It probably wasn't malicious, but still. I'm not getting involved in office politics today. Yes. Oh, lovely. Don't hesitate to ask if you have any other... Oh, <laughs> you may leave now, Naomi. <laughs> Thank you, Spears. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Spears. I don't want to deal with this chick. Oh, Lord. Thank the Lord. God, I hate that she does that. You know, she'll hear that here. Put your arm here. I didn't catch any of that, but... <laughs> Just kidding, you're good to go, Anon. Don't forget this. He holds out the poorly laminated lunch card for me to take. Just keep in mind, as a senior, this semester is your last. Your biggest chance to figure your future out. That's true. Even if you're new to all of this here at Volcano High, we're here to help you make the most of it. Huh. Thank you, Mr. Spears. Mr. P Mr. Spears nods and gives me a small smile. You can come anytime. I'm always here to listen. Aw. Except for topics relating to estrus season. I sense great exhaustion in that last bit. I think I think Mr. Spears one last time and head to homeroom. <laughs> oh god, not estrus season. As far as I know, Nairobin, he will have a severe case of E. I'm lucky mine had free lunches. Yes, you are very lucky you had free lunches. I would love it if I had free lunches. I didn't get any free lunches. It's not fair. It's not fair, man. Ah, man. Dude. <laughs> the period's pass and eventually it's lunchtime again. I've been focusing a bit less on class and more on getting a routine down to avoid unwanted confrontation. It's like it's only me and the teacher in class uh, and phasing out everyone else. I follow the flow of students towards the lunchroom, mindlessly looking around about the halls. Passing by the athletic awards case, a decent amount of group photos of Nacer front and center. Apparently, this school is pretty well known for their track team. In a similar vein, Naomi is present in a good deal of the photos in the academic achievement case. The last case was reserved for general awards. I guess trophies that don't belong anywhere else. The school has a few commendation awards for their efforts to stop bullying. Damn. Feh, they pass those around to every school. Lucky around... There's several posters on the walls here. All simple slogans to stop the evil bully menace. A fat lot of good those did at me, to, did me at my old school. They always went all in with those efforts. One time they even... Oh my god, I just had an idea. Ooh, I gotta write that down. One second. Uh, BRB.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everyone. I just had to write some stuff down for notes. I should run the wrath on how much I'll end up owing, but I feel more like indulging myself. Yeah, just indulge, bro. It doesn't matter if you're getting into debt. Bro had a eureka moment. Yeah, I was just... I, I'm working on a project with some friends and stuff, and, uh... You know, we're, we're doing stuff. We might be making our, uh... We might be making our own version of a certain visual novel that you're seeing right now. Not a mod, like an actual fully-fledged thing on its own, but I'm still uh, debating about like what to do exactly to set it all up right. I feel a storm coming. Yes, there is a storm. And there goes his mic. What happened to my mic? Is my mic okay? What happened? What, is my mic working? Wait, 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 wait. You silly billies, my mic is fine. How dare you? You freaking chat, you freaking tricked me. That sandwich looks good. I like sandwiches. Why not both? Indeed, indubitably. Hence my tray stank high with desserts and the tastiest looking sandwich from the lunch line. Nice. Uh-oh. Damn. I just wanted to make sure you guys had an actual audience. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I go and sit across from Nacer and Naomi. I see you're making use of your lunch card. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am using the lunch card for dessert. You have to type it a little before it happens. Your chat is delayed. Yes, it is delayed. Wait, is it delayed? I mean, his chat. My chat? Your chat? What chat? I glance at Nacer, and I notice that he's just poking at his pasta. Damn, he doesn't like the spaghetti. Nicer, sweetie, you shouldn't play with your food. Oh, what? Oh, Anon, what's up? Uh, not much, and you? Yeah, no, totally good. I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm good. His following laugh sounds hollow. Nacer. Yeah, yeah, it's just. Fang stayed home today. The concert was a shit show, and they wanted to avoid everyone. I know I shouldn't have invited all those guys. No, I mean, places a comforting hand on his shoulder. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck, I hope it didn't say anything. Uh, yeah. That crowd was harsh. What happened after I left? Naster looks at me pitifully. Oh, God. Trish gave me a general idea, but I have to know. You are not the only person in the world, I nod moose. Ah, oh, shit. I don't want to break the news. The band never made it past the first song. Someone said they still sucked. They still sucked. Oh, wow. Nacer grits his teeth. Whoa, whoa. Calm down, man. What else? Did they say anything about Fang? No one would want to F you. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I don't think you'd want to hear it, though. And what happened after? I'm going to kick all their asses. Nacer, please. Calm down. Calm yourself. I realized now that I'd been laughing with them. Oh, after, after that, Principal Spears was effing pissed. Wow. He even threatened to suplex them. Nacer sags emotionally spent. Ah, fuck. So that's why she stayed home. If Fang wishes to stay home, then that is her prerogative. You just need to give her some time, Nacer. While she said that, I noticed a strange expression cross over Naomi's face. I know, babe. I just wish I could help them more. Yeah, if you need any help, Nacer, I owe you for pizza. That's true. That's true. For the pizza pizza, we finish eating and make small talk until the bell signals us to go to our sixth period. Day two out of uh, however many left is now out of my way. I'm fairly certain that if Nacer found out that I laughed the two, I'd need to avoid him. Those cheeto-covered cheeto -covered claws look like they freaking hurt, man. With that, I dr with that drama now past me, I can just disappear and cheese through the rest of the year like I'm invisible. Oh, when June hits, it's going to be so sweet. Amen to that.
Two days later, alarm is off. You know the drill. Combat roll, headbutt, victory screech. Breakfast, ship hosting, clothes. I'm pretty good at this. I think I finally found a decent routine for the rest of the year. I have to go easy on the ship hosting, though. Yesterday I might have overindulged. But I've succeeded in turning invisible. Not completely, but so far I'm happy. Even the stupid stuff with Nacer seems settled. I can just cruise through schooling and ship post in the evening. Perfection. Maybe even find the Trish OnlyFans page. <laughs> I don't know, man. Day four out of however many days are left in the year. So far, so good. Okay, that's great, Anon. Chat, what do you actually think of Anon? Like, I'm actually curious. What do you all think of him? Like, as a character. Like, you know, through his mentality and the way he perceives everything. Because I feel like ending four makes a lot of sense for who he is. Like, the fact that this is how he thinks and how he feels and stuff, it just feels natural that he'd act the way he did. And he'd have the same kind of, like, thought process when it concerns, like, Trish and Fang and stuff and, like, all everything. It just makes sense to me. Like, that's just my perspective, though. I don't know. It's a bit of a walk, so I get my phone out and start posting on a shitty image board. What am I going to do? What was the choice of banning people into replying to my posts isn't the most rewarding of hobbies, but it passed the time. Meteor dodges, having jobs, pick one and only one. <laughs> that ought to get a few. Just before I hit the reply button, I sense the air behind me turn warmer. I few fly wildflowers growing in the cracks of the sidewalk bloom in seconds. I think he is quite selfish, but he has the bless uh, the bless of the protagonism. I don't know about that purple Tylenol. Tylenol, but she's here. All right. Oh, is it Naomi? Good morning, Anon. It could have been. It could have been. It could have been good. Oh, I don't even want to. I don't want to do this. Get away from me. Ah, uh, no. I'm skipping this. I'm so sick and tired of you, Naomi. You're so annoying and so. Anon's great. I agree. I agree with that, Roboheart. Shout out to Roboheart. He's a member of the stream, so he pays and stuff. Thank you for the membership, Robo. Naomi grabs my hand again, and when I come to, we're already there. And here they are. Our school's flower beds. Oh, wow. Thank you. Please stop dragging me by the hand. She is right, though. The gardens here are absolutely stunning. He's okay, but the he seems like a jack. Yeah, he seems like a little bit of a jackass. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, that is kind of the point of Anon, isn't it? Like, it's the fact that he's just a little bit inexperienced and like he's not like he's not used to having to do a lot of a lot of stuff, you know, physically and like he doesn't have as much life experience, so he's kind of a doofus goobus, you know. But that's sort of the the biggest issue he's got going on. I can't tell what's more colorful the bushes are f of flowers or the students that tend to them yeah the gardeners here do a great job hmm well yeah you can thank the gardening club for that okay now me guys me through the gardens i'm probably not going to talk like the other characters voices as much i'll probably just do anon <sighs> and here, da, 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 da. what's going on here is she coming on to me oh god Chat, I got a question. <laughs> chat, should I should I not ask wh which one? Wh what's the choice I should make, chat? Tell me, which choice should I make? Which, <laughs> please, I, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. I don't want to make the choice. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, no. Start a pull. Pry. In. Don't pry. No. Start the poll. Okay, boys, vote, vote. Everyone vote. Oh, you want me to ask? Check the, the, the poll I put up. I should ask? Oh, God. But she talks so much. I talk a lot, but she talks even more than me. You know, I don't even like to talk much. I like to be, like, silent. But when I do talk, I talk a lot. She's even worse. Ah! Oh no! Oh, I hate democracy. I hate democracy. Oh no! Ah, all right then. I guess if it's a 100%, I'll do it. You all right? Uh, something's bothering you, right? 
Yes. Something is bothering her. Not really. A bit, I guess. I've just been worried about Nacer recently. Really? I wonder why. I wonder why. What ending am I going for? I'm going to do what I did in my first playthrough and get the fourth ending. That's what I'm going to do. Just because it's the choices I made last time, so I might as well do it here. You know what I mean? It's just my perspective on it. Such a freaking bop. You know, I just, I don't know. It's just how I think of it, I guess. It's complicated. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, she's worried. Something wrong with him? No, nothing's wrong. Per se. It's more that he worries a bit too much for that sister of his. I often wonder when I'm with him, he's anxious about something when she, she's done. Yeah, the, you know, families like that. I mean, I've never had a girlfriend, but I imagine that it'd be a bit inconsiderate to constantly be worried in front of her. I don't know. Yeah, it makes sense. Tell us about it. She takes her phone and jumps a bit. Oof. Oh, I'm going to be late. I still need a chicken at the front desk. Oof. It's fine. Hopefully it just doesn't make my allergies flare. She waves and runs off to a side door. Should be getting to my home homeroom soon. I push open the usual side entrance I take and enter the hallway that's starting to become familiar now. Still occasionally glancing at the room numbers just to make it absolute sure. I notice someone in the counter current walking past. <gasps> oh, it's the Snootosaurus! Ah! <laughs> oh no, guys. Oh no, guys. It's the Snoot. Guys, it's the Snoot. Help! Help! Ah! Ah, it's the non-binary Saurus. It was one of the bass players from the concert two days ago. Never she said she was a sister, right? Well, yeah, that's true. That's what he said. Nacer said that, yeah. Oh, jeez. But she probably doesn't want to hear that, though. Glancing at her for a moment, the expression on her face sort of reminds me of something. It's probably just leftover embarrassment from the concert, but she seemed to have a lost look on her face. Or maybe it was confusion. Or a mix of the two. Either way, there's something. There was something going on in her mind. I can't help but think that that must be how I looked on my first day. But it was my first day of school. She been going here all year. What's her excuse then? Either way, it doesn't look like she recognizes me. Yeah. Objective one out of whatever of the current year. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Homeroom in 15 minutes. Homeroom, which you share with Naomi. Shudder. She's just too. Too sweet and like obnoxious. Oh, I can't find the right way to put it, but she feels so movie-like. Yeah, she feels fake, is what you're saying, like an act. Yeah, that's one. That's exactly what she is. Day four, Anon. Day four. What the hell? Why is she scratching herself? Is she a junkie? Oh, bumps. Oh god, don't come any closer. I don't want to get shanked by a junkie pterodactyl. <laughs> Shut up. You uh, skinny. Yeah. Did you see where they went? The group with the, uh, uh, dinosaurs? No! 
Yellow hoodie, red hair, pink tail, hair buns. Oh, are you talking about Trish? Are you describing one person? What? No. It's multiple. They're dinosaurs though, right? What? I don't know where they went. Ugh. Oh. And just like that, she's gone. Ouch. I seem to have this effect on women. <laughs> I call them poison pheromones. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Oh, jeez. The genderosaurus. <laughs> the genderosaurus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Chat, why are you doing this? Oh, my gosh. Y'all are terrible. Oh, no. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are, like, so damn goofy. Jeez Louise. Like legitimately. Jeez Louise, man. This is such a goofy goober shit. But it is relieving that she didn't recognize me. Guess Nacer didn't tell her. Uh, that is a good thing, kinda, because if she did, she'd be uh, very mad. The staccato of the bell signals my tardiness for class. Oof. My class was Naomi. If there is a Jurassic God, please make Naomi miss homeroom today. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I'll even offer a goat sacrifice. <laughs> this is different. I'm actually not even going to deny it. This is quite different. Like, I'll admit it. This is It's got some serious differences to it. Like, legitimately. Oh man, I'm kind of interested in this, like, legitimately, like, how this is going to go. Uh, but that's just me, though. I don't know about you, Chad. I don't know if you guys played the newer versions. I played the older versions, which are like, you know, they didn't even have a lot of the stuff that's had, so I'll say that much. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty interesting. The day passes uneventfully until fourth period science class. I find a seat near the back of the room and watch the clock hands tick down the remaining few seconds to the bell. Right before the tone, one last student rushes in out of breath. Oh, it's that girl again. I guess we showed a period or two on the first day. I just, I just didn't notice. Well, maybe it might actually be that she didn't come to class if you think about it. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Because she got embarrassed so badly, she probably didn't even want to be in there. Strangely, nobody seems to acknowledge her. Not even a sneer or chuckle. That's odd. Given how many people there were that, that night, you'd expect at least a couple of Snickers. But there she was, being completely left alone or ignored. Seems almost worse than getting laughed at. I actually like that a lot. Because, honest to God, it's like... It makes sense. Like, it actually makes sense that that would be kind of the case, you know? And, and that's just my perspective on it. Like, the fact that she... It, it's super obvious she clearly wants some level of attention, but it's like, why? Well, it's because in her eyes, it's what she deserves or what she needs. But it's like, obviously, some attention just isn't good. And clearly, she doesn't want that. But that's all she ever gets. And it's like... You know, it's even worse when you have nothing because the indifference is just there. You know what I mean? Like, that's why this is so sad. The lingering chatter in the room dies out as the teacher stands from his desk, moving to the front of the room. Good news, everyone. Dr. Fernsworth says, Today we'll be having a lab on magnetic fields. Find a partner and get ready, physics. Uh-oh. My heart sunk as those dreaded words passed my ears. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oof. Damn, she's a, a... Find a partner, huh? I know it's pointless, but I at least have to try. Maybe someone was out sick. Uh-oh. Oof. Uh-oh. It's kind of a, a goof. I wonder who the partner's gonna be. With my luck, though, I'll probably just end up with that phospholid teacher. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking about this. 
Like legitimately. Hmm. With everyone else already starting on the assignment, I resign myself to working twice as hard. Here you're up, Mr. Anon. Your partner is waiting for you. What? Very well. Fine, if you'd be so kind to sit next to your new partner. Hmm. I sat in momentary confusion as someone took the seat next to mine. Spaghetti alert! Spaghetti alert! Uh-oh. Defcon level 2! There is a femoid within arm's distance looking at me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, guys. We're dead. We're, it's over. Deploy all spaghetti lockdown measures. Sup. <laughs> he just says sup. Thanks, you too. Shit, recovery maneuvers now. I mean, hey, not much. You? Chad recovery successful. Chad, recovery successful! Good job, Giga Chad. None of your business. Just do the damn assignment and don't bother me. Why is she such an asshole to me? Oh, you upset right now or something? What was your first fucking clue? That's what I'll say. Just do the assignment and don't bother me. Okay, gotta keep cool headed. So, the assignment then. Okay. With that, we open our books and start on trying to decipher who Lorenz is and why his force is magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenz, oh my god, things are going well for the first few questions. I remember a bit of it from that one time I tried to make a railgun. What the fuck? How are you two doing so far? We're fine, Dr. Fernsworth. I see, and you went on? Yeah, what she said. Oh, no. Uh-oh, What? It, why is Dr. Fernsworth making that face? I turn to Frank to ask her what the deal is, and... Oh, shit, she's the deal. Yeah, oh... Oh, oh dear, oh dear, you did the, you messed up, Anon, I'm about to send you on Facebook, and I'm gonna cancel you. Why are you always trying to smash down Do a it! Shut up! Ban! I'm gonna ban you! I'm gonna ban you! Shut up, do a profit! Do a profit, you got! I'm gonna banish you! Why are you always trying to smash dinos? I'm not trying to smash no dino. I'm just trying to make friends online. Shut up. You ain't even tithing, Doom. You're not even a member of the channel. You're not even in the. You're not even a, a a booster in the Discord server or a member of the Discord. I'm gonna banish you. How dare you? He ain't wrong. How dare you, Chat? Chat. Michelle Burr Werbel. I swear. I will banish thee. I will banish thee to to the depths of Dino Hell. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, she she doesn't like being called the lady. She? Uh, yes. Can you not see? No. Oh, Raptor GZ Almighty, GZ Almighty. This is the absolute worst case scenario. The infuriated pterodactyls, pterodactyls, wings spread. Wide and her talon finger jabs my chest. I am non binary. How am I supposed to know this? How is I supposed to know something so trivial would set something like this off? Purple Tylenol, you are gender fluid. <laughs> you, you water, Ben. <laughs> you are not gender fluid. You are just water. Well, I can't bring myself to say anything. Oh, oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Fang. Fang. You think you can just spit in my face and then then give me this cold shoulder? I'll have you know. Fang! It feels like the world just stopped. Oh, jeez. All eyes are on Fang, and in Fang's eyes, I see something flash briefly. Judging by those exaggerated movements and the eloquent speech, this is something Fang had been practicing. Oh, jeez. This was supposed to be a big moment where she stopped an evil bigot and the whole class would clap. In holler planning and practice, Fang had made one crucial error. Nobody cared. Oh, jeez. Please consider stepping into the hall for a moment. Wow. Sh shit. Fang is quick to exit the room. Dr. Fernsworth turns a sympathetic look towards me. Forgive them, Anon, for they do not know what they do. Their sins... 
Anon, you must understand that Fang is experiencing issues. I wonder if Nairobi noticed I'm just Alex from Discord. Oh, what the fuck? Alex, it's you. Alex, I didn't know it was you. I didn't know you were from... I didn't know it was the Discord. Yo, go Fang. Really show them how all evil, how evil that bigot was. Jeff, shut the fuck up. Jeff, you know she just flopped. Jeff, you don't gotta, you don't gotta rub it in, Jeff. Poor Fang over here having the goddamn worst day of her life, getting laughed at by the entire school, and you're over here just what, trying to rub it in? Man, y'all are evil. Y'all, 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 man, chat, y'all cruel. Y'all are cruel, chat. Y'all are real cruel. You know that? <laughs> y'all are bad. Jeez, man, like holy crap. I mean, seriously, man. This craziness. Oh shit, yo, I just looked at the Discord server. We have a dude who's been working on a fucking blender model. Holy shit. Man, there's so many talented people in the server. I'm nervous about it, but I feel like I should probably like talk to them about some stuff. Yeah, and I'm V1. Michelle, Warble, you're a V1. You're the freaking guy who's been posting weird crap in my server. It's you? You're the one who's been doing that? God damn it, V1. Forgive them, Anon. You must understand that Fang is experiencing issues. Yeah, they're cringe. They're experiencing what is known as being cringe. What the fuck just happened? Well, she blew up me when I called her a she. She already upset something before. Yeah, something happened before, and she ain't happy. She was upset before because of the concert the other day. It looks like I just pushed her over the edge. Yeah, you don't know what they're going through. Remember, you're not the only person in the world. It's a pretty big deal. After a few moments, Fang comes back in and sits down without a word. Oof. What weird crap. I don't know, V1. Whatever sussy stuff you've been posting. Because I know all of you in the server are degenerates or something. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all are all sus. Sorry. Aw, don't worry about it. Thanks for the apology. Oh, it's silent. Now that I think about it, something's off. Fang claims not to be male or female, but the clothes she's wearing are clearly provocative. It's almost like she's showing off her femininity. Then why? Why would someone be wearing revealing clothes in contradiction to their identity? It's almost like they're just looking for attention. Oh. Then suddenly, it hits me. I recall memories of a slightly younger Anon running around school with a cape, pilot goggles, and three plastic katanas. Oh, jeez. That was a quick way to get sent to the principal's office. Are you even listening to me? Oh, do what now? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I could tell. She mutters as she takes and turns back to the assignment. Uh... You've been staring at me for the past five minutes, freak. Damn, sorry. Changing my looks at the class and both of our current social standing, we'll probably be working together a lot more. Non-binary pair don't owe you androgyny. All right, sorry, jeez. Okay, wow. Jeez a wheeze, I guess. I mean, I guess you're right, maybe. Fang, I don't know, I just don't. Wow. Doesn't seem like it's something she wants to hear right now. Uh, I guess so. Oh, damn. Jeez. So, I'm um, your nice your sister, right? Sibling. Right. So, 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 so. Sorry, master. Sorry, master. I'm sorry, master Fang. I'm Master Fang, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean master. I didn't mean to I didn't mean misgender you master. Please, master, I'm so sorry. Sheesh, chill. There's a brief pause until Fang speaks up again. Yes, Nacer's my baby brother. Why do you ask? It's just curious. Nacer's been helping me settle into the school. Of course he did. Just wish he'd keep out of my fucking business for two seconds. Oh. Uh sure. Actually think about Nacer. It's more that he worries a bit too much for that sister of his. Oftentimes when I'm with him, he's anxious about something she's done. He told me about what happened the other day. Sorry to hear something like that happen to you and your band. What do you care? I don't know. Suddenly my shoes seem more interesting than the conversation at hand. Just think it's messed up people would go to a show just to laugh at you. <sighs> Guess you aren't that awful. Unlike every other guy in the school. The rest of the period passed between continued small talk with Fang. She seemed to be controlling the conversation, though. 
When the bell rings, Fang whips out her phone and immediately starts tapping away. You going to your next class? Who cares about being late? Fair, see you then. She lazily waves a hand at me and I make my way to my next class. Unfortunately, fifth period is mathematics. Oh. Oh, I wonder what this is. I can barely keep myself awake while Mr. Carlos Sedusky is giving me a lecture on the inverse of tangents. And on! Oh. <laughs> I sit ramrod straight at the direct address. Oh, chat, we gotta get a screenshot of this. We gotta get a screenshot of this. Tusk Act 5, or 6, or 5, yeah. I just know I got ending 3 in my first game playing this new game. I am Brazilian. My English is not perfect. It's fine. Are you freaking listening? Come finish this freaking problem on the board. Just one social disaster after another today. Oh, God, hesitantly, I sat out of my chair and turned on my way to the whiteboard, trying to discover the runes that we started to make sense of. Almost trips. Only I never made it to the whiteboard. Three rows down, and my French Chris is on, catches on a loose backpack strap in the aisle. Oh, wow. Luckily, I fell sideways, and there was a cold, dark, hard desk in the way to catch my fall. To the chuckles of the rest of the class, I look up from my final resting place to see a massive pink one white muzzle. Dude. Like a deer caught in headlights, I can only stare and wait for him to continue. You're on my desk, man. My senses return to me, and I quickly get up, picking up and returning the pencil that flew to the floor in a flurry of apologies. Then I recognize just whose desk fell I fell on. It's that drummer in Fang's band. Don't I just have the luck of the devil? Giving one last apology, I head to the front of the room to solve the whiteboard problem. I tried solving the problem to the best of my ability. It still took a solid two minutes. After circling my answer, I look expectantly at Mr. Carlos Dedusky, who gives a nod. Finally, turning away to return to my seat, I freeze. Right there in the front row is the last member of the band, Trish. I stumble back to my desk. Mr. Carlos Sedusky gives each a row of stack of uh, papers to pass back. All right, he all right. Here's the freaking homework covering today's lesson. Use page 279. I'll give you the last 15 freaking minutes of class to work with your freaking peers. Mr. Carlos Sadewski returns to his desk and pulls out a math book with a monthly romance novel crudely stuffed inside it. Wow, what an educated man. And my keyboard just died. With a very detailed centerfold by the way he turned it sideways. Looking ahead of, to Reed's desk, he's been joined by Trish who's trying to get him start, to get started. I think I can feel their eyes following me. Back at my desk, I glance over the math sheet. Page 279, right? Looks like I finally get to use that phone book of a math textbook. Where is it? I open my backpack and instead of a math, my math textbook is the Saturnia Collector's Edition art book I splurged on yesterday. Wait, did he just say splurged? Wait, what does he mean by splurged? I'm frozen. Can't move an inch. Did I grab the wrong book this morning? Is someone playing a sick joke? Oh my god, wait, does he mean splurge isn't like what I think he means? Oh, dude, I didn't even realize that's what that meant. Oh, that's so disgusting. How could I bring this to school? Something bounces off my head and lands on my desk. It's enough to smack, snap me back to reality, and I shove my backpack under my desk, furiously zipping it. Yeah, you probably want to do that. Keep that under wraps, you know? On my desk is a balled up wad of paper. Oh, great, I was hoping to avoid these chain notes. I unfurl the ball to read the note. Look up. I look up and see the purple one waving me over. Fuck. Grabbing my stuff, I shuffle over to slow to the duo. Sup, compadre. Uh, sup. See, he's my class partner, so I look out, out for him. How are you looking out for your class, class partner, Anon? Enforcing the social contract, having good conduct and mutual respect so you can leave the class and go on with your life? Jeez, uh, what's this about? A certain friend of mine is partnered with you in science, right? Wait, oh, you mean Fang? They just messaged me before class, said they had to be partnered up with a skinny bigot, then proceeded to show them. I had a feeling you'd be him. I mean, yeah, I'm the only skinny in the school. Am I going to have to tolerate humiliation from these meteor dodgers too? God, why do I stutter so much? My head is starting to hurt. Hopefully we can just get started on these math exercises. Yeah, that was me. I apologize, though. I know, and I appreciate it. I'm Trish, and this is Reed. We're Frank's best friends. Uh-huh. What about you? Now tell us about yourself. 
Red alert! There's no way I'm telling anyone, especially these people. And if they find out where I was a few days ago. Uh, I'm Anon. I'm a human. I got here Monday. That's all. We know that. I want to know where you're from and from what you've been doing since you got here, if you have any friends. Uh, I've been doing nothing. I, really, I don't really care about friends. She doesn't look very convinced by that answer. Right. Right. You know that Nacer dude, right? Hey, yeah, I saw you with that... S oh, jeez, Naomi earlier, too. Trish squints her eyes at me. They were my welcoming committee. They helped me with getting se settled. Nothing besides that. Right. Didn't Nacer or Naomi invite you to do anything or... No, I don't remember. I'm trying to get them off my back. Well, why, why do you ask? We had a concert last week. Nacer and Naomi invited a whole bunch of a-holes to ruin it. Oh, wow. Wait. So, Oh, she thinks that she wanted them to ruin it. Suppose if we had seen a human in that crowd, we would remember, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, concert? I don't think they invited me here to solve math problems. We have a band. I'm the lead bassist. Fang's the vocalist and secondary bass. And Reed is the drummer. And the songwriter. Reed. <laughs> He just comes up with the funny song titles. Uh, that's very neat. Would love to listen to your band someday. I drag my chair backwards and clumsily rise from my seat. It's fair meeting you guys. I'll be going back to my desk, though. What? I'm not done with you yet. What? What? I really should get started on the homework. It's important. Look at me. She has a very serious look on her face. She's not saying anything. Her glaring through the back of my skull makes me think she means business. Fang is happy. They found something about themselves they really they finally like, and I helped them through a dark time. They made up their mind. They themselves? No wonder Nacer seems so confused by this. They don't need people in their life that might hurt or confuse them. They have us and the band. We're trying to make it for ourselves. Okay. I look out for them because I care for them. They've been hurting because of those dicks. I'm doing my part in assuring them. Was that what I saw her doing earlier? Look more like one trigger trig out. <laughs> trigger trip. I don't understand. My point is, don't upset Fang. I just want to solve math problems. I er, yes ma'am. Once again, she's just glaring at me. Fucking hell, my stupid leg stopped shaking. I'll take this opportunity. Uh, thank you for the lesson, Trish. I'll keep that in mind. See ya. Wait, man, you want this? Reed holds out a sheet of paper. Wait, it's a copy of the homework assignment. And it's complete? Hold on, I thought you were the one needing help. The friend of my friend who's the friend that helps me is also my friend, too. Is this my friend, too? I don't think that's how the saying goes. You're sharp, Anon. Razor sharp. Friends? <laughs> what the fuck? This game is so goofy. Like, legitimately, bro. Like, it's actually kind of goofy. The bell announces lunchtime, and the rest of the students collective collectively rise and start shuffling out the door. Lunch hour. Been a blast talking to you guys. Hmm. I swiftly snatch up the backpack by my leg, flashing an earnest, sympathetic smile at them. Or at least I thought it was one. I just realized it actually makes sense that he'd get the wrong backpack because he's right next to them now instead of at his chair. Because I'm just thinking about that. You know? Hmm. Hmm, let me think about this. I'm kind of interested.
Hmm. Think about this. One sec. I'll be real. Be.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. As I power walk out of the classroom, I swear I caught a glimpse of Reed waving goodbye. Sorry about that, everyone. Hmm. Shame I have other places to be. Namely, away from the pissed off midget. Wow. That's interesting, huh? I wonder if that's gonna end uh, badly. Hmm. Hmm. I'm eating right now. This is delicious. It's a shame I have other places to be, namely away from the pissed off midget. Mmm, midgets. No, actually, that sounded weird. I didn't mean that like that. <laughs> midgets. Sorry, man. You seem like a good guy, but that with that tiny tyrant, not in this lifetime. <laughs> That was the worst fucking experience in a long while. Almost as bad as actually dealing with Fang in class. Here I was saying I could be invisible for the rest of the year. Now I have a classmate talking about me behind my back on their phones. Probably for the rest of the school year. At least it's the best period of the day now. Yeah, I'll be real with you. It is a little uncomfortable. Like, I don't know if anyone... Like, I, I know recently I actually just had a situation kind of like that happen and stuff and it was weird. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. A duck could do a corner rip the backpack open. Uh oh, wrong backpack. What should have been my lunch card binders and horrendously embarrassing art book was instead a half dozen glass flasks, bags full of something, and all sorts of machinery I didn't recognize. Someone, someone else has my backpack and, and that book. I like how, if they see, I like how he's more concerned about the anime shit and not the fact that he has like literal, like, you know, chemical crap in his backpack, bro this backpack it's from the reed guy i'll bet when i rush out of class f me on the other hand i get a medal of honor for turning all this stuff in i think you can even get a bit of cash for reporting stuff like this what am i thinking any amount of money is not worth my power level being revealed i can't ruin my life uh oh not again especially not with these losers half hour until lunch period ends good I need to find Reed. I double check. Uh, I double back to the classroom. I just left and find it empty. Fuck. Maybe he's getting his lunch now. Cafeteria then. I sprint through the school hallways, already familiar with the layout, looking for the drug dealer. The colorful crowd in the lunch line makes it difficult to pick Reed out, so I have to carefully scan the room. I finally spot the pink raptor at the end of the queue, a tray in hand and incriminating evidence on his back. The world must be screwing with me since I'm the only one currently carrying a mini cartel in backpack. A mini cartel. Reed! The stoner drummer turned to my way as I try as calmly as possible to approach him. What's up, my guy? What's up, man? I, uh... Give the backpack a bump, causing all the dubious glassware within to clank. I think you got my backpack, Reed. Oh, shit. Huh. Was wondering why this fell later. He holds out my backpack for me. Here you go, man. Shit. We trade backpacks and I'm careful to hand his over while simultaneously examining mine with still within the grip. It doesn't look like he opened it at all, but... Oh, shit, my bad. God damn it. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. Why are you so worried about the bag, man? Personal stuff, man. Personal stuff. Shit, fuck, 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 fuck. Bruh.
Bruh, I just got a fucking... Dude, I've been getting like three... I've gotten so many freaking... Spammers, bro. Holy shit. I get... I, dude, I got like six different scammers over and over again. Holy crap. Dude, I'm not... I keep getting scammer after scammer, like, unironically, like, messaging me on Discord. It's terrible. How many scammers are there, bro? They're freaking everywhere, just hacking people's accounts. Jesus Christ. I got, like, six scam calls this week on Discord. It's on Discord. It's bad. These dudes are just that good, I guess. They've been getting into people's accounts. Because, because what, buddy? Don't bring up the art book. Thank you, dumb fuck. There's got to be something you can say. Naomi, I hear you fruit basket. My lunch card. I wouldn't have been able to get my lunch without it. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. What? New kid in school and you need the lunch card? Oh, wow. Do you, like, want to hang out with us? You look like the lonely type. Fuck, no. Nah, I'll be good. How's... Hey! What the fuck? Hey, he's here, dude! The Discord is doing... Dude, it's doing well. Dude, hey, what the fuck? Someone revealed your username to a scam company? Dude, I've been getting, like... I've got, like, almost a dozen freaking scammers, dude, hacking people I used to know and shit, and they fucking send me messages. But I was gonna say, hey, is here. How are you doing, man? Holy shit. You visit any free movie websites? Not in a long time. Dude, hey, please. I, I wish you were back on the server. We hit over 240 members today. Dude, we're getting huge. Like, unironically. Hey, dude, I, I he is here. You guys, shout out to him. He's a freaking amazing fucking uh, artist, man. Man, dude. You don't even need to join the Snoot Central server. We have another server that I kind of want to invite you to. Yeah, I just thought I'd drop in. No, no, there's like a private server I got and shit. I do kind of want to... It's 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 a lot more important. It's like a project thing. If you want, just join the Snoot Central dis server. Just send me a friend request, and then you can, like, leave the server, and you can only be in that other one. Damn, that's good. Yeah, it's it, it's some cool stuff going on there, and I kind of want to invite you, but you're, you left. You literally left. You didn't even let me say goodbye to you, dude. That was so mean. Shit, I got to meet you. You're this cool guy, and you fucking left, hey? Come on, bro. I'll introduce you to the whole band. I was so freaking sad when you left, man. Also, I had to get, like, another, like, admin, so, yeah. But Johnny Guy was good with it, so. Come on, bro. I'll introduce you to the whole band. You don't have to, you know, reward your good deed with a good deed. What? I'll, like, be your first friend, Anon. What? Yeah, man. Oh, goddamn. I've been using that bong too much. I appreciate it, but, you know, you worried about Trish, bro? Yeah. Yeah, she could be a bit rough, but she's great. Hey, is there, but seriously, just send me, like, a friend request on Discord with another account, and I'll invite you to the other, like, just that single server and stuff, dude. Because that's the, honestly, that'll be good, because I don't want people to get distracted and stuff, and you, it would be good for you to be only on, like, one server where you're, like, working on a project. Because I know you're a talented artist, dude. And we, the project that I have is, like, it, it's, it's interesting. I'm not going to, like, talk about it too much on stream, but it's an interesting one. I've been planning on, uh, you know, I ha I'm going to be recruiting some people, too. But it's a, it's a whole thing in of itself. Isn't she on a crusade to assault everyone that laughed at your concert? Oh, yeah, she does that sometimes. Don't worry about it. Hmm. It's fine for you to be worried. You'll see. She's plenty nice. Maybe I was a bit quick to judge. See, there's Trish now. Oh, God. Not the Triceratops. Not the Trigger. Yeah, I might just do that real quick. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Honestly, just send me that frame request, and I'll freaking, uh, I'll check in on it. I'll accept it. Hey, Reed. Sorry, gonna have to return that crowbar a bit later than I promised. What the hell? Also, I got vengeance on another one of those jerks. Those aren't related, right? Who's asking? Yeah, I take it back. Yeah, you need to get out of there, buddy. Holy shit. Well, Reed, thank you for talking. I'll just be on my way. Hold on, man. Trish just got here. Reed, what's this all about? In on here and I had a little mix-up. Anyways, he was a total bro about it. And he's like super poor and stuff. How poor? You know, that lunch cart thing they advertise on the school brochures? Bull. Show her, Anon. <laughs> Show her the card. Show her the card, Anon. 
I'd rather not. Oh my goodness, you poor soul. This is fucking different. Literally, even. <laughs> oh, you poor soul. Poor Anna, you're poor. Oh, you're a brokey. So I figured why not be a bro back to him. Like, uh, be his legit welcome committee. I'll get the Discord shit all good. All right, see, okay, hey, you got that. All right, that's good, that's good. Bro, I can't, this is such, okay, this is a good change. I like this. I appreciate the thought, but, uh, I should really be going right about now. Bye. Oh, Fang, what took you so long? Oh, no. Ah. Oh, she looks sad. Why me? Uh, let me out. Yo, wait. Is that Anon? What's he doing here? No, it's the other new human transfer student with the dress sense of Rex Luther. <laughs> Rex Luther. Hey, Fang. Good to see you again. Well, lunch is almost over, Sal. He's poor. He like super poor. <laughs> the fucking face Reed is making. Damn, bro. I feel so bad for your poorness. You probably don't own a house. How poor? You know those lunch cards? <laughs> oh my god. This is so good. You know those lunch cards they have on posters near the principal's office? Wow, that is hilariously depressing. Wow! I hate everyone here. Yeah, this is terrible. Anyways, that doesn't answer my question on why of why the skinny loser is here. Man, Anon's like a total bro and and I'm his first friend. And we're gonna be rocky being ring buddies for the rest of the school year. Then, like, he'll be, like, my business partner, and, uh, we'll sell enough goods to get half the country high, and, like, fuck darks and fuck that. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? I don't want to be doing the books for you, Reed. Nah. Uh, Trish. The morons swapped backpacks, and now they're best friends or something. Yeah, that. <laughs> it's fucking so stupid. Yeah, that and... Oh, God. We can all grab some together. Oh, no. Well, Reed is a good judge of character. Is he? Is he really, though? Is he really, though? Is he, though? Is he, though? Oh, fucking Herb. Herb, you son of a bitch. Fucking... <laughs> you, son of, you, you son of a... You son of a... Oh, my God. You son of a bitch. Dude, I just got a fucking DM on Discord. People telling me, hey, I'm here to scam you. You fucking people trying to scam my ass. God, how many? Dude, I have had like almost a dozen people I know get hacked and have their accounts fucking DM me and shit. I don't even understand. Like, dude, how easy is it for people to hack your account? Jesus, man. Like these fucking vulnerabilities and shit. So terrible, man. Oh man. <laughs> what the fuck, Herb? What are you sending me, man? You fucking goober. <laughs> oh man, you been here, man? Wait, Jeff, you're fucking, you're fucking, you're Herb Farmer? Oh my god, the. Her Damn it! Jeff, I didn't know that you were the same. I didn't know it was you, man. It got. Oh my god, you goober. You goober, that's why you were saying you like herbs. I was wondering about that, but... Oh my god. You son of a bitch. You fucking clever bastard. Make sure your Discord password isn't the same as your other accounts. Yeah, I changed it a while back because there was a server I was in that said I was posting stuff, which I wasn't posting. The fuckers didn't believe me, but... I changed everything. I got two-factor authentication, uh, you know, made, and, like, it instantly worked. Jeff, I swear to god. Didn't you already grab your lunch, Reed? Yeah, I want seconds, man. What? I look at Reed's train and see that it's completely empty. When did you... How? Come on, man. I've got a mean case of the munchies. I got a mean case of the munchies, too, actually. I end up walking to get food with Trish, Reed, and Fang. Every time I consider ditching them, Reed says or does something to keep me with the band. Fuck my life. Shit. This is different. I'm able to hold the makings of a conversation with Reed. But it feels like I'm talking to space. Trish was listening in while we made our way to the lunchroom, but was more focused on her talk with Fang. That's a little creepy. Trish is creepy, dude. She listens to everything. What do you mean my halter top is out right now? I haven't noticed a difference. Can I say this right now? This is completely different. I don't remember this, actually. 
I'm telling you, the next thing is going to be leotards. No, fuck that. I would never wear something that stupid. As for Reed. So, you play video games, right? Yeah, I got a couple consoles and a toaster for PC. Only X-Rox. Battle Stars is sick. Apache Station is a better lineup overall. But, like, stony gamers are all lame. Like, just movies lame. You can't prove that. I can. Huh? Get your phone out, man. Oh, no, look up LW. What? How did you say that? How did you say that out loud? Just look it up, man. What's the harm? Look the link up. Oh, God, it's... No! No, it's taking me to the Goodbye Volcano High trailer. No! It took me to the Goodbye Volcano High trailer. No! No freaking way. Oh no. It's the goodbye. <laughs> I forgot about this. This is the goodbye volcano high trailer. No, what on earth? Pretty hilarious, right? What is this? A shitty Netsticks cartoon knockoff? It's funny in a way, yeah. X Rox is better, anyways. You see the whole lineup they had prepared for? Reed delves into his rant about console differences. Oh god. I thought he was just an airhead, but I totally can't get a read on this guy. <laughs> can't get a read on Reed. Well, anyways, the launch lines aren't going to get any shorter. We should hurry and pick one. Damn, it's true. I know what it means to go on that. You know, the bureaucratic machine that is school, public school lunch. I know what it feels like. Once we all get our food, we all stand around chatting a bit more outside the line. Dude, honestly, private schools are faster with their food. And, and may, I might be wrong, though, but that might be just because I was in Puerto Rico and shit. And they, they, you know, Puerto Ricans, Hispanics in general feed really well. You must have played the game earlier than me. When I played, most of the updates were done. Yeah, I was before the updates and shit. That's when I finished the game completely. Trish and Fang babble to each other about their daily activities all through the lunch line. Reed, on the other hand, has pulled out a tablet from his backpack to show me something. What's he going to show me? So, like, you know, we got a band, yeah? Er, yeah, Trish brought it up earlier and all. Check it. I've been recording our practices. <laughs> wow. Fang and Trish both look at me expectantly. Fuck shit. Fuck. Okay, you can do this. I got this, guys. Cool. Let me see. Even through the poor recording quality, I can see and hear just how atrocious the band is. I bite back at the grimace, threatening to come out as I give the video my full attention. W well... Aw, see, okay, can I say this or not? I like the stutter. I like how she's questioning. Like, you can tell she's nervous, and she wants to have a positive reaction to the band. And you can kind of tell that's actually, like, her issue. Is that she's legitimately scared. And I like that, because here's the thing. With Trish, Trish has got a facade as well, but her facade is more because of, like, her paranoia and shit about losing friends. With Fang... The thing that's actually kind of cool with her is that, on a serious note, she is her facade is like a defense mechanism because she sees everyone around her as someone like that she that like she can't let get too close. But she's like a super duper good person. Like she's actually a nice person deep down, and I kind of like that. But it's super sad how over time she's just become like this toxic person, like per personality wise. Because that's how she hides her real feelings. Because clearly she cares. But she doesn't want to show that. She doesn't want people to know that she cares. Because if you show that you care, then everyone else doesn't think... Don't, they don't think you're as cool anymore, you know? And that's what fucking sucks. You know, everyone likes to be like, yo... Like, if you, like think about it like this. If you're a YouTuber and you don't show your face in your Discord as much, people usually look at you and they're like, Ah, oh, wow, this guy's so cool. You know, shit like that. But if you go on the Discord a lot... And you go there and you say, hey, hello, and stuff. And then you, like, try and treat people well. They don't, like, they don't treat you with the same level of respect. Which is fucking stupid. But people do that a lot. You know, it's because they don't see you as tough and shit. They don't see you as cool anymore, you know. Because in, in the way, it, it's you who care about them. And they don't care about you as much. That's the difference. That's very similar, I feel. We're great, right, Anon? It's, uh, certainly original. I know, right? But, like, why two bases? Fang glances at me from the side. Weird. It's our style. I I see. When I see her, can I give Fang back on games I haven't played? Not music. <laughs> Not music. I like the double tension on the G strings. Oh shit! The three stop in their tracks and look back at me. I think I messed up. How could you tell? Jeez, man, you got the ears of a bat. 
Uh, just something I picked up. Yeah, I'm like Mozart, bro. I can just know music, like, when it's played. I just know the notes. I don't know you knew about that sort of thing, Anon. I know everything about music. Yeah, next time we have a concert, you gotta come along. Doesn't this kind of hint at him, like, in college and shit? Where he goes and freaking learns, like, uh... Like, where he actually becomes the sound designer major? That's actually kind of clever. It does... I guess it also kind of hints at with him in the military when he goes initially, like, with MOS as a... As an audio person, radio guy. Maybe. Trish glowers at me warily. I don't know, maybe if he actually talked about himself for once. Nope, nah, -uh, no way. Abort! Yeah, man. Go ahead, dude. None of us are judging. I'm not, at least. Well. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Anon. We gotta bail. What would this shit happen? What? What? Oh, is it Nacer and Naomi? They're already gone. That's different. Pretty impressive how fast they can move even with their hands full. That is completely different, but what could have made them run like that? Shit. Anon! Oh my god! That's gonna make my ears bleed. I heard that because my microphone is attached to my mic. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh. I turn around to see Nacer and Naomi approaching food in hand. I knew I'd find you here with the others, Anon! Oh god, the Mandurian nightmare is here. She's back and at it again. My legs are... My legs are weak. Feel like spaghetti. Shit. Shame they ran off and... Why do they do that? Her shrill goody goody sugary voice is piercing through the chatter of the lunchroom. I don't want to reply if it means hearing more of her voice. Wasn't that nicer sister? How wonderful that you're making friends, Anon! Oh god, it's terrible. Tell stop, please. Ta Look, I don't want to sound bad, but this Chinese creature is scaring me. I don't even know what dinosaur type she is. I can't say it. <laughs> Tell me everything. What were you and Fang talking about? I want to know all about it. Oh, help me God. I just can't take catch a break. I just want to go home. But there's still half a day to go. Hey, Anon. You uh, seem kind of low energy. Are you all right? The Anon you're trying to reach is currently having an existential meltdown. Please leave your message after the scream. Aw, he's just thrilled to make new friends. Yeah, man, good on you. You're quite the extrovert. I'm mentally screaming. I swear I just want to get out and never come back. I don't want to. Yeah, I agree, Anon. I feel you. Is that really my sibling you were hanging? His <laughs> fucking sibling. Fang and her friends. Yeah, strange group, I know. I'll say. I'll, I'll say. She's a para, isn't she? I don't know what the fuck she is. She's a pariah, that's for sure. The fucking... The goddamn orange pariah that is Naomi? Absolutely. Shh. They're, they're not that bad once you get to know them. Colorful folk, I know. Uh, no. I mean, they... Uh, hmm? Fang! Uh-huh. Sure, hope so. Seems like I'm gonna be her lab partner for the rest of the year. Whoa. Naomi, po Naomi pauses for a second. Honestly, they're just going through a phase, man. That phase includes rants about non-binarism? Fang hit you with that, too. What a great opportunity for real friendship, Anon. I'm so happy for you. This is similar, but this is a little different than what it actually was originally in the early portions of the game. Like, the early game, these... There are a lot of changes they've made, which I'm shocked about. I don't remember this being like this. But in the game, something that was actually kind of interesting was the fact that... They don't talk about it quite as much as they're doing it here, but I kind of like partially. I, I don't like the, so much of the expose. The ex exposition could be a little bit better. It was a little better early, like the before the update. But something I actually like is how Naomi's reaction to all of this is. Like her face. Because you can tell it's kind of hinting at that she has something to do with this. And it also kind of is interesting how Nacer is trying to blow it off as a phase. Because I'm interested in that as well. If there's anything Fang needs in these trying times, it's a new friend to talk to. Like, this is similar, but there's a slight difference with how it's been set up. I actually kind of like it, partially. Uh, I don't know about that. You know how they is, right? I would love it if you tried. Nacer would appreciate it. Would he? Whoa, calm down, boo. That's not how it works, and I don't think... Yeah, you don't just flush people together, you know what I mean? The bell's sound, the sound rings on our ears. A rush of relief and dopamine overcome me. I'm free. Ugh. We'll talk later, Anon. 
I'll have to keep my eye on you, though. Oh, sh oh fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, my bad, my bad. Ask if you need anything. I'll help, I'll help you out. Oh, there it is. Don't worry, Nacer. I know Anon is of good character. I hate that tangerine tyrant. I completely agree with you, Werble. I completely agree. What is she talking about? You know what? It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Only useful things I learned today. Uh, I guess I'll have to go and I'll see you around. Be a little nicer, Anon. That's true. You're not the only person in the world. Remember that, Anon. Remember that. Ask if you need anything. I'll help you out. Oh, I'll hold you. I'll hold you on that one. Just you wait. Ha! <laughs> Nice, now you'll never get them whole off your back. Congratulations. Hey, take it easy, man. Come, Nacer. We have a busy day today. Oh, sure. See ya. Gosh, goody, goody, goosh. <laughs> One week later. Oh, God. It's math. Bane of... <laughs> and lazy intellectuals alike. And teachers, too, judging by the lack of a certain Coomer teacher. Oh my god, dude, I don't remember this. <laughs> Substitute today, which means busy work. Group problems, busy work specifically. Of course, I can't escape this anymore than I could have escaped the lab partner assignment. At least here I have the opportunity to just keep to myself for an hour. Why does N why does Nasser have his hand consistently in his pants? Is he a zerker? <laughs> Robert, dude, what the fuck? What is wrong with you, dude? What the shit? Dude, y'all are fucking weird. Y'all are so goddamn weird, actually. Oh, my God. Nairobin. At Nairobin. At Nairobin. I compromised. I nutted in a sock. Why am I getting these DMs on Discord? What is wrong with you peoples? I'm back for the time being. Oh, shit. Hay is inside. What the fuck? Except, what the hell? Yo, dude. I didn't even know Hay was in the server. What the hell? Shit. One second. So I compromised. Okay, I cannot. What are you freaking? Why am I getting these messages? What is wrong with you guys? Like Olivia holding Inko's wrist. Ooh, yep, yep. That's correct, Wolf. Yep, yep. Oh God. Who ad who who keeps adding me, bro? Oh my god, why- Dude, you guys on the server are so freaking terrible. Oh, that's- Dude, the art update. Oh my god, this is so freaking cool. Let me, uh, invite... Hayes here. There you go, buddy. One second. All right, so, yeah. One sec, I'm sorry, I'm starting project. Good stuff. 
Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't even bother attempting assignments to pretending my phone is a calculator and spending the first half shitposting about video games I haven't played online. Oh my god, trying to hide those Cheeto fingers. <laughs> trying to hide those Cheeto fingers. What is wrong with you, chat? You're so cursed. You aren't even donating. Like, l let me say this right now. Let me say this right now. Y'all are so freaking cursed. Y'all don't even tithe. You're not even in the memberships. You aren't even boosters or members in the server, meaning I don't even get money from y'all. Y'all don't even donate. Y'all are terrible. Worst chat ever. So bad. So bad, so sad. I'm depressed now, man. And on a so real. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, man. Y'all, y'all really, y'all really posting the sussiest shit on chat. I might as well ban you, cause y'all ain't paying your tithe. Y'all ain't donoing. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all ain't becoming membership. I should link a Patreon or something in the future. I'll fucking do that sooner or later. But like, god damn it, guys. Second half went by something pointy at the back of the dome. Shook. Shook. I can feel something stuck between my chair and my back. Oh, jeez. Oh, damn. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Hmm. I feel something stuck between my chair and my back. I would fish around and pull out a crumpled piece of paper or airplane. A simply completed set of problems. This is Reed's and it's done. Yo! I got all the math problems done! And let's freaking go, guys. Let's freaking go. Once I saw Nairoma look behind him in a dark and lonesome street, his arms had grown and he had a six of them. And then he scurried off, which was really scary. What are you even talking about, Robert? Chat! Chat! Cancel this man! Cancel him! What is wrong with you? You are a member? What do you mean you're a member? Mitchell, no you're not! You're not a member! You don't pay! Do you pay money? Like, you know, in the Discord. Like, because if you were, then you'd be a part of the secret society. Mitchell, you're not a part of the secret society. Are you a secret society member, Michelle? I did not scurry off with six arms. What are y'all talking about? Y'all calling me Spider-Man? Y'all are sus. Y'all are sus as hell. Y'all are sus. Ah! Of the server. Michelle! Do you pay on the server? You ain't even tithing. You ain't even tithing, Michelle. If you tithe, I have another identity in the server. Robert, you're sus. It's Mitch. L. Okay, Mitch L. This is a burner account. Okay, Deets Nuts. Not Michelle. It's Mitch L. Okay, Mitch L. Mitch L. Uh, Mitch L. That sounds like Cal L. Mitch L. Are you, your people, are you of Krypton? Might as well see what they want. Mitch L. Ah! As I weave through the maze of desk Christian together with partners more interested in their phones than the worksheet, I catch a hint of whatever Reed and Trish are talking about. Honesty is the best policy, eh? Bad juju to keep something bottled up. Yes, true. That's true, Mitchell. You ain't even tithing. You best be tithing, chat. If y'all ain't tithing. Hmm. Hmm. Reed grabs hold of another chair and sets it on Trisha's southern side, nodding in my direction. We're taking a big pull from whatever he's got in that thermos on his desk.
The widening of his pupils suggests it's a bit more than just Roarbuck's cold brew in it. No, he's drinking lean! He's drinking lean! I love lean! I love lean! I love lean! Give it to me! Give it to me! Give it to me! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I was just aping out in the back. Hey, ain't on! You guys need something? Do y'all need anything? Damn. God damn. Do y'all need any anything? Is there anything going on here? Yacht. Okay, Jesus. She cringe. Man, this chick is cringe. The, these man Reed, you are cringe, Reed. You are extremely cringe. I just wanted to let you know that you are cringe, Reed. I mean, not Reed. I mean, I mean Trish. With W stream now, but please continue. It's so boring, sad. I love Lean. I love Lean. I love Lean. I love Lean too. I love Lean too. I love. I love. I love Lean. I love Lean. If y'all are in the Discord, you'll see me posting I love lean, but y'all ain't in the Discord, so you don't even know that I'm loving lean right now. I love lean. I love it so much. Give me lean. By the way, you can't be under 18 to be on the server. Just want to let you know that. She cringe. She cringe. She is literal. Trish is literal cringe incarnate confirmed. Oh, I want the lean. Gummy. Snoot game. I like snoot game. Hashtag snoot game. Hashtag art. Hashtag meme. She is cringe indeed. She thinks she funny, but she not funny at all. She very cringe. She's very cringe. Why does Anon sound like an old child... <laughs> Get that out of my chat. Delete that message right now, Robert Deets Nuts. Get that out of the chat, Deets Nuts. God damn it. You guys need anything? Need something? No, just wanted to chat a bit since we got the time. There's something in her tone of voice. It's like she's getting ready to gore me with those nubs she calls horns. Ugh. Sure. I'm going to let you two get to whatever. going to go for a refill for my lane. I love lean. I love. I love. I love lean. I love. I love. I love it. I love the lean. God damn. God damn. Give me it. Give it to me now. I don't even know what lean is really, but whatever. <laughs> I don't freaking know, man. I don't know what this lean is, man. Like, damn. Damn. Hey, Nairobin. As a friend. Tylenol, what do you need? What do you need? It's been like... What? What is it? Five minutes. Five minutes of what? Lean is something. I don't even know what lean is. I love lean. I love it. Ah. So you would stop talking that much. <laughs> Fuck you, chat. Fuck you. I'm gonna ban all of you. I'm gonna ban all of you. I'm gonna ban you all, you fucking bastards. Fang, Fang's been talking about you. All good things, I'm sure. Fang's been talking about me? That's dumb. Oh, yeah, the phones. Yeah, all we've been doing is more lab work and science. I'll be honest with you. Can I actually say something right now? I do not like it when people talk behind other people's backs and shit. Like, and when I say talk, and, and I mean this, like, like, when you do it, when you're like, oh, hey, man, you know, they're telling me this or that, like, or some shit like that, when there's clearly a fucking... I don't know. I don't like this kind of shit, this kind of behavior. Meth for- What? Meth with friends? Oh my god. 
But I was gonna say though, like I don't like, and let me actually turn the music down a little bit, because I, I think I'm actually serious when I say this. I do not like it when people go on their phones like that and shit, and they're just talking behind people's backs, you know. And it's just kind of creepy. It's really uncomfortable when you're doing that, and you're like talking, like let's say that you were trying to give a recommendation about something, and then you make fun of someone in like in the background without them even fucking knowing and shit. Like that's just kind of uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Do you have to repeat all you say three times to understand what you say? Jeez, Tumas. Leave the little guy alone. What the fuck? Shut the fuck up, Jeff. Jeff, what are you? I don't need you to fight my battles, Jeff. I got my mods for that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Last Thursday, I tried to remind, remember how to make a railgun. To show I could, of course. Did you actually make a freaking railgun? Did you actually do that? Piff, I could make one too. Ah, she seemed unimpressed at the time, but... Was it about making a railgun? Or er, yeah, it was. What exactly are you talking about with them? Just science stuff. The railgun is just something I happen to know with, though. I picked it up from an old game. Is it Metal Gear Solid? Two Moss, why you gotta be so mean to me, Two Moss? You're very mean, Two Moss. You're cruel and evil and villainous. And I just looked at your <laughs> channel and I see what you look like. <laughs> no. Shut the fuck up, Deets. What the fuck are you saying? That woman is just a will. I'm timing you out, Deets. Deets, you're going to get timed out if you ever use that kind of emoticon ever again. I will legit ban you to the Shadow Realm, boy. Do you understand me? Jeez Louise. Trish raises an eyebrow. Right. Why do you ask? You learned to make a deadly weapon from a video game? Her tone is flat, unlike her chest. <laughs> unlike her chest, which is, uh... You know. This chat is worse than playing GV... Oh my god! Shut up, Mitchell! Listen, this is the first stream I've had in a while. Mitchell, you gotta chill. Why are y'all... Why are y'all insulting me so bad? I've been abused by my dad, sorry. That's not me on my video thumb on the video thumbnail, bro. I don't know, Tomas. I think that is. I don't know. This chat is worse than playing through GVJ. Is that like GVH ripoff? Oh god. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. Why would you think that it's a good idea to make a weapon in class? How did you not get in trouble? Spears actually did talk to me. He said something about the great equalizer. <laughs> Trish grabs the bridge of her snout. This is why men are useless. She continues to mutter herself all of it incoherent. Is there a point? She turns back on me. Anger painted clearly on her face. Look, Anon. You may be into that stuff, but leave Fang out of it. Bro, look how cringe she looks. Dude, look at her. Like, oh my god, bro. Look at her freaking hands, bro. Jeez, man. They have better things to do than, than, than play with some man-child's lethal toys. They are not lethal toys. They are lethal weapons. Whoa, harsh. Reed slumps into the seat next to Trish, sipping on his thermos of just aqua, bro. Thermos of water. Minor spelling error. <laughs> laugh at it, point and laugh for minor spelling error. What I miss. I'm just trying to tell Anon here that he shouldn't be telling Fang how to make a freaking gun in school. <laughs> Why not? We've been over this. Oh, my God. I love you, Reed. You're fucking awesome. I see why people want to read route. <laughs> we have when? Less than five minutes ago. Thought we were talking about Anon. Yes. And specifically, we were talking about Anon's gun. I don't have a gun. Head start to turn. Reed grins at them all. <laughs> Oh, no. What's the problem with making a rail gun? We can make cool money with weapon because EUA, like, powerful guns. Then how about these guns? He places his hands on the back of his head and flexes his biceps. Oh, damn. <laughs> just just faces a blur of emotions. At first confused, then fucking pissed, then aroused. Whoa, then aroused. Then back to fucking pissed, all in the space of an atto second. I feel like Reed and Trish should get together because he's the only dude chill enough to deal with her fucking shit. Not those! The one he made with magnets! But, like, how do magnets work? 
Oh my god. <laughs> ding dong. Bing bong bong. Make a freaking gun ending one. Robert Dietz, do not even reference ending one. All at once, all the students giving giving the clock a blank stare. Stand to attention and file out the door. I I Damn it, Reed! Damn it, you screwed up my speech! That Trish punches Reed in the shoulder, gives me another evil stare, and saunters out of the room. The Trish He's not a thug. I mean he kinda I guess he is, I guess. I don't know, man. He's a cartel guy. <laughs> Got a distribution. He's Gus Fring, but stoned out, high on his own supply. Hey, Reed pats me on the shoulder. Bruh. <laughs> Fucking. He gives me a thumbs up and exits as well, leaving only the substitute teacher looking at me from her desk uh, impatiently for me to leave. Can we make <laughs> can we make Trish into a meat cube? Oh my god. <laughs> Wally style? <laughs> oh my god, dude, Jeff, chill the fuck out. Herb farmer, oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Weed Reed is just a handsome stoner. Minor spelling mistake. <laughs> a bed fail. Oh, God. Nacer ended up dragging me to sit with him in the magenta motor mouth again. And Naomi hovers over Nacer, who currently has Gucci under his eyes. So I uh, talked to the soccer team earlier. They're going to be making their first game after all. Isn't that great, Anon? I also got the L and L Club to finally take down their Christmas decorations. So the library's clean again. That's good. Nacer's head lands in the chick in his chicken salad. Then he drinks wide awake. Oh, he's tired. Nacer! Oh, good lord, not the water. Oh no. Ugh, sorry. Did you say something, Anon? Nacer, look like you fell into another blender. What's going on, big guy? Don't worry about it. Just some um, family problems last night. Like what? Ugh. You know, I can do a Patrick Bateman voice. Hey. Back in the day, I... I, I don't think God can forgive our sins. <laughs> yes, he can. Mitchell, shush. <clears throat> hey. No, I can't, I can't fucking do it right now. Shit! It's because of the music in the background. It's not like I can't do the... The Patrick Bateman, Christian Bale voice. Oh god, it's so good. I can't believe it. Victim of the strap, most certainly. Ugh. You don't have to tell him if you don't want to, dear. Why don't you wipe that Alfredo sauce off your cute little face? She's so saturated, she'd give a third world country diabetes. It's my, it's my sister again. Why is it always his sister with him? Because he loves her, dude. Aww. I was going to sleep last night when I heard something downstairs. The dino nuggies. When did this turn into an interrogation? It was about one or two in the morning. I checked what it was, and... Fang was just standing in front of the microwave. Staring at the dino nuggets rotate inside. Tomas says I'm attracted to romance. I'm going to fucking ban you. I'm going to banish you to the shadow realm, Tomas. Convince dinosaurs to attack Pearl Harbor. Oh, oh my god. What is wrong with you guys? You guys are just so bad. This is the worst stream I've had so far. At 1 in the morning? At 1 in the morning. This is a personal... <laughs> can't do it. This is a personal issue, isn't it? Sounds like a you problem. Wouldn't you rather just be enjoying lunch with us? I just need... I just need advice. <laughs> I just need advice from someone at this point, Naomi. But from Anon? <laughs> but from me? W. Reese to Moss. No! No! No, W. Riz. Chat! No! Chat! Chat! Not W. Riz. What is wrong with you? Now, Robin is such a different person with the profile pic on Discord versus his. A oh my god. Deets, shut the fuck up. Deets, shut the fuck up. I am not a different person from my PFP. The only reason I act like this is because I have to. Because if I just act, if I was really, if I, if I acted the way I wanted to, I would be sitting down, my voice would be a couple octaves lower, and I'd be just chilling. But I can't do that, because all you guys want is Mr. B-style content fed to you, where I have to talk like this, repeatedly, until all of you shut up. I'm sorry for this chat, Nairobi, and you better be sorry. Nacer continues. 
I asked her what she was doing, and she just <laughs> she just says fuck off. So I think maybe Dad will help. Oh no. He didn't. Yeah, that's not a good idea. They just got into a shouting match. Screw him about her lack of control, and Dad was pissed. And poor baby. Naomi wraps her around and her, around her arms around Nicer's head, cradling the third tired pterosaur in her bosom. Oh shit! There's a rumbling storm, and it's clear that Nacer's checked out. Right. We love to see Nairobi dancing around when he should be acting regular. I hate you all so much. You're making me dance like a fucking monkey on stream, even though I'd much rather see his chilling. You want to see me chilling? All right. It'd be really quiet, though. Naomi looks distraught. He's always like this, but it's been getting worse recently. Going unconscious, trying to help, wearing himself ragged. That Fang. Mmm, we should help Nacer. What, by talking to Fang? By taking him to the nurse's office. Alright, alright. Ah, fuck. Naomi looks at me with the biggest, wettest doe eyes possible. Yeah, she's probably not physically strong enough to do this on her own. Alright, alright. He doesn't look that heavy anyway. Only 160 pounds. How do you... Never mind. God damn. Sheesh. You made him take the ADHD pills. Shut the fuck up, you guys. I swear to God. I, I, I shouldn't swear, but I... I hate you all so much. <laughs> I'm attracted to my dad, and you want to ban me because I say it? I doubt you would have said the same thing if my dad was a dinosaur. Okay, Tomas, if you bring this up again, I will actually ban you. Oh my god. I, I am actually going to find you in real life. I'm going to send the mods to your house, and they are going to burn it down to the ground. Oh my god, now I'm... I have blurry vision, oh my god. I hope my- <laughs> I hope I do my dad in your nightmares- oh my- I'm, oh my god. Oh my god, Mitch- oh god. I'm timing you out, buddy. <laughs> I'm, I'm timing you fucking out. I'm putting you in timeout for five minutes. There's a five minute timeout for you, Tumas. At Tumas cry much. How do you never mind. I'm not even gonna get into that. Naomi puts herself under Nacer's left arm, motioning me to take the other one. Good lord, he's heavy. He's fat as hell. Alright, the nurse's office is down the main hall on the left side near the front desk. I'm clenching my face too much to be able to speak. I can only get a slight nod out. Hello there. My name is Patrick Bateman. I used to be someone who was able to understand human emotions. But over time, my understanding of the world around me and everyone I know was just kind of lessened. All I love is my reservation for Sephora, and that's about it. Don't want to make a scene, so I made my reservation, but they didn't accept it. So instead, I just went out and took a seat for myself. You'll be on Discord? Really, Tylenol? Okay, bye. Wow. After dropping by Nacer, or sorry, after dropping Nacer off at the nurse and leaving before Naomi could argue with her about staying, the lunch bell rings. With music at the ass end of the campus, I have to sprint through the halls. Fuck today. I avoid gym class for a reason. Halfway to music class, I slam into somebody and tumble to the floor. Bonk. Ouch. Ugh. Stella! <clears throat> sorry, Stella. You. Uh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I get up from the floor and look at the stego who bumped into me. The plates on her back twitch as she looks up me up and down. Judgment. A chill rolls over me. Karma. No, no, maybe a second chance. She draws closer, a contemplative expression on his face. 
What do you mean he's literally? You're not Patrick Bateman, little motherfucker. What do you mean he's literally him? I am literally him, Mitchell. You're right. You are correct. She draws closer, a contemplative expression on her face. Ah, I see now. What? You've important choices to come. I do. Wait, back up. What the fuck are you talking about? This. She reaches toward my chest, plucking something off of it. She holds it up for me to see. It's some oversized playing card. Pokemon. Still lost. It's you. Your card. You are on the precipice of a great ordeal. Many difficult points of divergence and contention are coming your way. Reflect on them. I think about asking the green weirdo to make sense, but the bell is about to ring. <laughs> ring. Yeah, thanks. Sure. Sorry, got a dash. I don't know what you're spamming in chat right now, y'all. <laughs> Fucking weird wife. What is wrong with you guys? I slam into the band room door just as the late bell trills, panting and sweaty. <laughs> Mr. Jingo, good timing, Mr. Moose. Just in time for free period. What? Take up anything you like and have fun. The teacher then took his extremely lavish love seat, threw on a pair of headphones, and blacked out. I looked at the scattered instruments left alone for whatever reason. Dented-looking brass and cracked woodwinds, even a bass with a missing string. Wow, I feel like that right now. <sighs> I reach for one at random, taking a wooden thing. It looks like an oak tree made love to an eggplant, and this is the aborted monstrosity in Mexico. <laughs> Whatever, I melt into my chair and pull out my phone. Seems a majority of my classmates have a similar idea. The Jinkler Harry Quiz? Oh, God. I have some shit posting to do. Let's see. Gets phone. He made some valid points. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't remember this. What is this? Who is this guy? He made some valid points. Who is this a reference to? What the fuck? Oh, God. I don't even know what this is a reference to. And I don't know if I want to know what it is. Oh, God. <laughs> this is different. Like, this is very different to the original game. Damn. Damn, click post. Post successful. And now to wait, as they baited by my thread skills. Yes, yes, get baited. See, this is why I like Anon. He reminds me of myself when I post on 4chan, where I make literally me posts, and I just completely destroy everyone around me and get eviscerated because I'm just that cool. Wake up, Trundon. Bro, tweaking. Live crashed. It did not crash. The live did not crash. I was just texting someone. What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> I, f I apologize for all of what I've said. What is wrong with you, chat? 
Nefarious deed for the day done. I look around the room out of boredom. Oh, fuck no. Fang has a weapon of mass hearing loss. I'm covering my ears in preparation when the terrorist starts strumming and... Oh, wow. I still have my hearing. In fact, she's actually playing something pleasant. It's mellow, relaxed, a slow rhythm that carries a strange nostalgic hint to it. This difference between this and the performance is night and day. What gives? Looking a bit closer, she swings her tail a bit to the rhythm. She uses her tail as a metronome? Suddenly, the phone slips from my hand onto the floor. SHIT! The sound it makes as it clatters on the ground is a clack sound of pants shitting terror. It lies face down on the aisle. Do I really want to pick it up and potentially face a harsh reality? Schroding nears crack. I can't just leave it there. I pick up the phone and slowly turning it over. It's the moment of truth. Oh, it's fine. No cracks? Thank the Lord. Nice. Yeah, you got lucky. Fang has stopped playing and is throwing a small smirk my way. I should probably say something. Her playing is pretty good, I'll compliment that. Texans. Oh, sorry, I was reading news. My, my bad. <clears throat> that sounded way better than in the rodeo or the video retook. Oh, wrong choice of words. You're still not off my shit list to watch it. Quick and on think. Why didn't you play guitar back then? You're obviously a lot better at it. I would have if I could have. What did you mean? There was an empty seat next to Fang. Finders keepers, I guess. The man is just Reed, Trish, and I, so we all have to decide by majority what happens. Reed says using a bass is more unique, and Trish always uh, says how it's a promising business model. But it sounds like you play the guitar much easier than a bass. I play the bass just fine. I think the problem is more that if you take, if you want to make an unconventional band layout, you damn well better know what you're doing. If you're anything short of masterful, it won't sound good. And when it comes to music, it either sounds good or it doesn't. Simple as. That's true. What are you- What is wrong with my chat? This is the first time I've ever had this many degenerates, you guys. God. You know, and I actually like having my voice lower because it doesn't hurt my throat as much. And the only reason I had high-pitched voice usually is because I need to talk to people fast. Like this. Whatever. She continues strumming. But it's just a high school band, right? Shouldn't it just be fun? It is, yeah. Even though you're just doing what they want, want without getting a say in it. Fang flinches and misses a note. Ooh. It's not like that. It's just... Trish says, I mean, god damn it. Look, we're better with two bases. Trish and Reed say so. The, uh... Ooh, the audience. Fuck. I almost said the audience at the concert to her out loud. What was that? Nothing. Fang growls at that. You know what? We're having band practice after school today. Just show up and see for yourself. And what if I don't? You'll be a little bitch that's wrong. Oh, in that case, fuck you, I'm right, your band sucks with two basses and you should have been on guitar. I lock eyes with her. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you! And we're calm now. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, hurry up, dweeb. If I can keep ahead of you while carrying two instruments, you can speed walk. You sure you don't want me to carry one? <laughs> Fang is leading me back to the auditorium with both the acoustic guitar borrowed from the music room in her bass in hand, one over each shoulder. When we eventually get to the auditorium, Fang stops. Is something wrong? Uh, is everything... The doors, moron, open them, but they're pushes, not pulls. She sings the guitar cases on her shoulders around a bit. Oh, I step around her and grab the handle, pulling the door... Oh, it is a pull. The door wide open. Ladies first. Oh. Fang growls and stomps on my foot as she walks past. That was kind of mean. Fuck. Hurry up already. Damn, what does she have, like steel plated boots? Jeez. Inside, Reed and Trish already have everything set up on stage. Where does Reed keep that huge drum set during the day? Trish raves her arms from the stage. Hey, Fang, what took so long? Had to grab something. Trish grins in the spotlight, then finally notices me. What? What's he doing here? 
Fang slings both cases onto the stage, then climbs on herself. Proving a dumbass bigot wrong. So you admit they're smart ones. Fang then ripped something from Trisha's hands and threw it at me. Ow. <laughs> what the fuck? It strikes against my head with a dull tonk and lands on the ground in front of me. Looking down at the makeshift shuriken, it was a copy of Vorm Drama's hit new single in Dragon Onslaught. Fang! I just made that in art class! It looks like a Picasso had a seizure. He was being an ass. I was. Like, are we on break now? We haven't even started. Fang, why is Anon here? Like I said, proving him wrong. More like proving me right. Proving him wrong how? Like playing guitar, right? You wanted to play your guitar. What? Yes, I mean, ha. Huh. No, I mean, Anon thinks that if I use guitar instead of bass, the music would sound better. Oh my god. What? No way. I know, right? Wow, way to try throwing everything off, Anon. Hmm, let's just go through. I need myth money by Tuesday night, and if I don't get it, I will stop with your child. <laughs> don't say hey, Lamal. <laughs> what the hell? God damn. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. My mind went blank. I don't know what just happened. I look to the stage and see Fang panting, looking distressed. See, totally awesome, right? Not the word I would use. Oh, jeez. I think you should give the guitar a try. Oh, shut up. You don't know anything about music. Might as well. That's what I brought him here for, after all. You're really siding with him on this? We already decided Vorm Drama is better with only drum and bass, remember? Yeah, man. Way more unique that way. Aren't there, like, two bands in existence that pulled it off? That means there's a chance, then, yeah. Might be able to in the future, maybe. Can't hurt to try, right? You don't get a say in this. It's a band decision, we already made her choice. Maybe he's right, Trish. What's the big deal? The deal is we're wasting enough time as it is when we should be practicing. Can I just say right now it's interesting how this kind of reminds me of co-op. I don't know if you guys actually know what the co like the corporate governance or culture of co-op is. But co-op, the company that made GVH, they actually pay everyone equally apparently. Like I'm not even joking. I don't know how that works. But they apparently distribute the money amongst their workers equally and shit. And they all put shit to a democratic vote. And this is actually very similar to what co-op is actually like governance wise which is interesting to me the deal is we're wasting enough time as it is when we should be practicing yeah well your practice isn't getting any better so far especially wasting time on playing guitar when it doesn't match any of our stuff that clearly struck a nerve Ooh, fang didn't like that wasting time playing guitar what's that supposed to mean fang rounds on trish jabbing an accusing finger into the little triceratops with a surprisingly voluminous chest Ooh, every time I want to make changes, you guys always overrule me. See, that's the problem with making something a pure democracy. Sometimes you got to think about what actually works. Co-op is communist. Yeah, they're pretty much communist for the most part. That's funny, too, because they're a company. You know, I actually kind of wonder what it's like to have a socialistic-like company. Because if you think about it, technically, because of how capitalism works, it's not impossible to actually try and make a company socialist. Like, that's actually not quite impossible. Just because technically, if you made your corporate governance in such a way where decisions had to be made with like workers in mind, like a proletariat of sort, making the the actual choices, I mean that would actually be kind of interesting. Then again, it would probably be really bad and would end very poorly long term. But yeah, co-op is a bunch of like gay communists. Every time I want to make cha changes, you guys always overrule me, even when it's something like playing my favorite instrument in my own band. Yikes! Shit, I didn't even know it was like that. Come on, Fang, you didn't know I didn't mean it that way. We decided that democratically, right, Reed? Yeah, but there's only three of you. But like, yeah, but like, yeah, exactly, there are only three of us, you know? Exactly, that's the thing. I'll hate myself for this. It's already getting too intimate for me. But maybe I should say something. It's only going to get worse if I don't, but this seems like a personal argument between them. Speak up. Fang does seem very passionate about playing guitar. In this YouTube chat, it's... Okay, you know what? I am actually going to time you out again. You are getting timed out again. 
for like 10 minutes this time, you freaking goober. <laughs> freaking two mods. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. You're saying it's bad. Yeah, I am. You can only help their music, right? Just give Fang a chance. Have you ever even let, let them play guitar with the band? Oh shit, that seemed to stop Trish and her presidential Yeezys. Her presidential Yeezys. I, uh, well, not really. We voted on it in our first jam session together. Fang made her weird face like she couldn't believe I was standing up for her. I'm kind of shocked that they decided on that from the first onset. That's kind of crazy. Like, holy shit. Honestly, I couldn't believe I stood up for her either. Thank you, Nairobin. Yeah. But god damn it, I'm winning this challenge. If you're really Fang's friend, you should at least let them try. Like, I agree. Yeah, that's a good point. Trisha's mouth opened and closed as if she was trying to figure out the right words. She threw up her hands and let out a frustrated sigh. Fine, I guess we can try it with the guitar. Alright, this time we're doing... I gave the special kids the Jonestown special, and now I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to need Raptor Jesus after this one. These names, dude. These names are so bad. And a three, two, and... Opposed to the nostalgic tune earlier, Fang rapidly strums on her borrowed guitar. It's fast and rough, but the tone carried doesn't melt my eardrums. Watching and listening, now I can see and hear the difference clear as day. They're actually not bad. Not good, but not by any metric worth its weight. But at least I don't cringe so hard my spleen erupts from my side and creates a splash zone. I find myself bobbing to the song, in fact. And just as I consider the song getting good, it ends. I feel a little disappointed that the show ended so soon. Then I remember it's not a show at all, and that I definitely won. That was pretty good. There's sweat dripping from Fang's brow, and her black clothes are clinging to her a bit more tightly. The grin on her face stands out the most, though. See, totally better with a guitar, Trish. I agree. Ha! I win. Trish, Reed, and Fang turn to look at me. Eh, probably not happy about that. Oh. Oh! God damn it. So now, so you're now a normal band. I mean... Not everything that's normal is necessarily bad. Trish scowls. A vote, then. Who votes if we stuck to stick to drum and bass? Oh, just Trish. She's the only one to raise her hand. And against... Even I raise my hands along with Reed and Fang. You stay out of the skinny. Damn. Skinny? Yes! Oh, look how happy she is. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. That's so adorable. So, like, do we gotta redo all the songs? It's only one instrument line. It shouldn't take too long. Ugh. There goes our main marketing strategy. Marketing strategy? I thought she was a Triceratops, not a Rhino Rex. I mean, honest to God, I gotta understand, like, I mean, marketing strategy. I mean, that's not the only marketing strategy you need. The marketing you would have is you'd just be playing good music. Like, I don't understand why this is something she's so obsessed with. Like, it sounds like she... It's like when there's a writer who's like, oh, yeah, but I, I really want it to be this or something like that, rather than just, like, allowing it to, like, be, like, good or better. Like, I get people who are, like, super obsessed with their OCs, and they're just like, oh, I want them in the story, though. And it's just kind of like... I don't know. It just makes me feel uncomfortable about it. and it's Or it's like how, like, certain things should be done, like, in a scene. I don't like it when people do that. I mean, it's not bad, per se. It's understandable. Like, you know... It is good to have a fight about it, you know, to actually hash it out. But in her case, I don't really get why she's like that. Like, I mean, if I was the leader of a group, and I was the one who's in charge of marketing and all that stuff, then yes, obviously I would understand where she's coming from. But she's not really doing that even. Like, her whole thing, it doesn't seem like it's motivated for, like, actual marketing. It seems like what she's actually motivated for is her own personal belief. Rather than actually marketing the, the band effectively. I'm abusing my good luck here, so I probably should leave. That's just my view, though. That was very fun, you guys. I hope I can see you all play more again. Better now than it was before. Ugh. We're cool, right? Bye. As we move to the door, Fang calls out. Wait! We, uh... I look to see her fidgeting on, on stage. We could, uh... Oh, feedback. We could use your feedback. Oh, hey. We what? Fang, from him? What? Ooh, this is different. He's been helpful, so why not? Read back me up here. Hmm, okay. And I should stay. He's a bro. Yo, Reed, you're fucking chill, bro. Anya, you stuck around for a while, right? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. If you guys all order some dynamos, sure. The three of them just stare blankly. Wait, auditorium, pizza, fuck. Uh-oh, oh, fuck, oh, oh, no. I mean, uh... Actually, I'd go, like, right now, so bye. 
Well, I can speak some for pizza if you're too broke. No, no, no need. Plus, I just remembered I have to do uh, important things. More important than our music? Or yeah, I, I see. I have to go return a book. A book. Fucking up, mouth. Don't go slipping. Weep talk now. It's, see, it's way overdue, and I can't cannot afford the late fee. Wait a minute. I almost didn't recognize Reed's voice. He said that way too sharply. The late date is like two weeks. Are you up to something, Anon? He sounds completely lucid and didn't say any words. Oh no. Shut it down. He saw the book. Shut it down. The pink cubone knows. That's different. It's from the library near my place. Super strict. You know how public libraries are like. Right. Oh, so he knows the anime. This is different. Will you just leave already? Oh, jeez. Okay. I love you, Trish. Sure, bye. I <laughs> love you, Trish. I scramble away to the exit. As I turn to make my way out of there, on the stage I hear, Thank you. I uh, hear them chattering. Okay, now how about... I'm not sure why, but the burglar joined my threesome. <laughs> the burglar joined my threesome. <laughs> Don't think about a threesome with Trish and Faye. Oh, no. Okay, just for one second. Fuck. Okay, should I show the loot imagery? <laughs> I don't know. It's already going to get demonetized. I know this video is going to be demonetized because of my mouth. Because of my uh, cursing. The following Monday morning, I haven't been able to focus much lately. My original plan is in absolute tatters. As I pose to staying silent and not facing any conflict. I'm not all buddy-buddy with the school reject club. And then there's Nacer and Naomi as well. And all their issues. At any moment, I feel I'm going to get found out. Trish would certainly beat me senseless. Fang might as well. Definitely Nacer. All this shit is happening. I can't even get into my favorite hobby. I don't think I've made a single forum post in three days. I stare down at my phone screen and see a, th a C thread of threads to post, in, and yet I have nothing to say. Wait, it's already seven? Fuck me, I dragged my feet too much. Crap, I sprinted the rest of the way to school. Luckily, I'm able to slink at a homeroom without the teacher molesting me for a tardy pass. Classes take me by in the daily slog, and like all things, lunch eventually comes to pass. I grab a package lunch from the Omnivore line and begin looking for a place to sit. By now, it's a foregone conclusion. I already know what's happening next. In on. Right on cue. Naomi rushes over, followed by Nacer. I'd really rather not deal with her anymore today. Come on, Anon, let's continue our conversation from earlier. You know about extracurriculars like the gardening club? Uh, I don't think I have the time. I'm way behind some of my classes already. You're talking about music, aren't you? Now, I mean, please stop memorizing the schedules of the new students. Sorry, but I did help Anon pick his electives. Wait, what? Why did I agree to padding out my credits with a new subject? Never thought I'd leave, live to regret zoning her out. Naomi places a finger on her chin for a moment, moment and stares into space. Suddenly, her face lights up. Wait, don't you share that class with Fang? Why don't I ask her? I'm sure she'd lend a hand. I don't know. She's usually very busy with her own work. I don't want to bother her more than I already do every day. Can't hurt to ask, though, right? Just a thought. Anyway, will you be joining us for lunch again? I need to think of something fast. Uh, sorry, I already promised Fang I'd be eating with her. Smooth. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I'm glad to hear you're trying to be better friends with Fang. Well, hey, this is a welcome surprise. Right, actually, she doesn't need in the cafeteria, does she? Didn't she tell you she hangs out with her band in an auditorium? She's allowed to do that? I've asked Principal Spears before. He sees no issue with it. Huh, anyways, I uh, don't want to keep them waiting. I actually like that. That's pretty chill of Principal Spears. I like that a lot. See ya. Have fun. That's what I, I, I'd always like to do, stuff like that. Right, bye. I turn away from the two and leave them behind. Now, I'm, now that I'm in front of the auditorium when it isn't crowded for once, I can get a decent look around the foyer. The walls are as vine-covered as anywhere else in the building, but the ones there have a small magenta flowers blooming on them here and there. I suppose there's different kinds of vines. Wouldn't make much sense otherwise. Never really thought about it until now. I open the door enough to see Fang's gang lazing about within. Marita's messing with some box on a table, and Fang and Trish are sitting on the first row of seats chattering to each other. I put my hand on the door handle and hesitate a bit. Then I pull it open. The squeak of the door echoes through the near-empty auditorium, and immediately all three turn their heads and stare. There's an awkward pause that goes on for just a bit too long. Eventually, Fang calls out from her seat. 
What the hell are you doing here, dweeb? Don't call me dweeb. Hiding from Naomi. Fang throws her head back and goes limp on the shitty wooden chair. Ooh. Now, Robin, can we do TTR right now? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Be that bitch. Fang lifts her head back up. Fine, you can stay. I go sit a few yards away from Fang and Trish on the theater seat. Reed turns it back to that device he was messing with before. Looks like a projector. You don't like Naomi? What was your first fucking clue? That stupid bitch acting all high and mighty all the time. Hey, Fang. Oh, look at me. I'm super smart and nice to everyone, and everyone likes me, so if you disagree with me, I get the moral high ground no matter what. Fang lights out some combination of a snort and sigh. Do you think that maybe that's one of the reasons that, like she likes being binary, like non-binary? Because she can get the moral high ground, too. Like, do you think that's something that she might actually enjoy? No different than Nacer. What a couple. Ugh, whatever. What was she doing to bother you? She's been pestering me about every little thing since school started. Granted, she's been a big help in some cases, but geez, she's overbearing at times. Fang? I'll say, sometime in the first semester, she ended up helping me with a major science project. We only had a day to do the whole thing. You waited until the last day for a major grade? It... That doesn't matter. Shut up. Anyways, Naomi insisted on helping me, and I just went along with it. She ended up just bossing me around for eight hours. Hey guys, did you forget I'm here too? Oh, Trish, I like that. I like that Trish is actually like, oh no. Oh right, what were you talking about, Trish? Trish pulls a cardboard tube out of her backpack. I like how Trish is legitimately, like, you can kind of tell why she doesn't like it on. It's because she's afraid that she's going to lose Fang. She pops the top of the tube open and pulls a rolled uh, up poster out and furls it. This, ta-da, our first poster. <laughs> verm drama, or verm dharma. It looks like something by ChatGBT, but worse. Verm dra dharma, live concert. Verm drama, t-shirt, CD. Verm drama's hit new single. Oh my god, what do you mean by TTR? Verm drama, that's an interesting name. And what's with the date on it? Trish wants, we need to have an actual show, not some dumb school show. We need actual people who matter to show our genius to. Your genius? More like, <laughs> more like stupidity. I don't know, Trish. Yeah, I'm with Fang on this one. The glare Trish loves at me was akin to a very dull knife. You don't even know how good we are. That was simply a practice session. Since you're Nacer's friend too, you just know, just know he ruined our first concert. Right, Fang? Ugh, yeah, if he hadn't invited all those cocksuckers, jeez. Still, I think, it doesn't matter what you think. Whoa, where did that come from? Let's drop it for now. My tuna sandwich is getting cold. Trish Greens and Victory. Dude, you got told. What the fuck am I doing? I'm dead if I out myself while it's not numbered here. Trish tore me out like she never she knew I was there. Had to happen eventually. Dude, I like how Trish is so clearly trying to screw with him. It's kind of wrong. I pray that's not the case. I finally get to opening my omnivore lunch. A BLT, some chicken nuggets, and an orange. I take my first bite of the sandwich and ding dong, bing bong. Are you kidding me? I cram as much of the of my sandwich in my mouth as I can. I will close the box. Reed puts the projector in the corner of the room and Trish makes for the exit with Fang. I follow after. Cheeks still, cheeks still flooded, filled with food. Next class is music. That's right. I'll be working, walking with Fang then. The three all wave each other goodbye and Fang turns towards our shared class. May as well make some small talk. I have my question. How the do how how the humans uh, and dinos see the hybrids? I don't know. That's a good question. So, uh, what's your favorite band, Fang? My favorite band, huh? Guess it'd be something like the Skinks, maybe the Fossilies. Oi, there are some pretty British taste, eh? <laughs> she turns away to hide her snicker. Shut it. I'm sure your favorite is much better. I'm into... Fang holds a hand to her beak. <laughs> God, you're such a dweeb. I flash her my biggest shitty and grin. At least I don't need a license to listen to it. Oi, love. Didn't share my taste to get riled on bit rude, ain't it? <laughs> That's cute. The two of us banter with each other with increasingly strong British accents all the way to class. Ah, oh, 
clef is stupid. Define a treble clef? I don't know what a treble clef is. I don't care about this shit. It won't ever be useful. Fuck this. Who can I cheat off of? I lean back in my uncomfortable chair, hoping to pop my spine back in place. Wait, don't you share that class with Fang? Why not ask her? I'm sure she'd lend a hand. I crane my head, looking for Fang. She's at her own desk. She's filling out her assignment page easily, drumming her fingers on her desk. I almost look like she's strumming, honestly. Ah, and that's another thing. Who the fuck made guitars? Fuck trying to memorize frets or whatever the fuck. Oh shit, she's looking at me now. She tilts her head and taps her sheet. Oh, I respond with an eye roll and finger gun at my temple. My thumb hammer drops and I fake die in my seat. Fang shakes her head, returning to her assignment with a tiny smile gracing her beak. I'll look at the papers we need to finish. Fuck me. How the hell are we supposed to finish these by the end of class? It can't be- it can't hurt to ask though, right? Maybe the Neon Nero had a good point. Still interrupting Fang now might piss her off. Fuck. I'll flip a coin. Heads ask Fang for help. Guess that's it. Might as well get it over with. I'll sink out of my chair and go around to Fang's desk. Uh... She jumps in her chair. How'd you get... Don't scare me like that. Sorry. I look at her work and see she's only a quarter done. Fuck. I hope we have enough time. So... You seem to be capable of deciphering dead languages. What? Can you help me with this? Help you with the assignment? Yes, I don't get any of this. It's all moon runes to me. How'd you even join this class? Only elective that had an open spot, apparently. Even though it's mid-semester and I'm expected to be at the level of everyone else that's been here all year. Fang leans her head down and holds her hand on top of her muzzle. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like pinching the bridge of, the, of your nose. Whatever, it's fine if the teacher gives the green light. Oh my god, is that read? It'll be fine. Fang and I jump several inches. What are you doing here? And what's with the costume? Reed is in an overly large inflatable T-Rex costume. Gotta get a signature for this absent note, man. Anyways, Mr. Jingo doesn't care if you use, like, partners and stuff. He just wants the work done. Well, that's good. I... I see. I didn't know you lost the school mascot, Reed. I'm tired. There's, like, pockets in here, man. You get to bring a lot of cool stuff. As long as you clean it after. I'm not even gonna bother at this point. Thanks, Reed. King Rex. It's all good, man. Reed gets up and goes to the teacher's desk in the corner of the room. I turn back to Fang expectantly. I'm not getting up. Get your crap and sit down already. Thanks. Jesus, you suck at this. No shit, I don't know how half this shit is. God, they tell you about treble nuts in elementary. It's E, G, B, D, F for treble and G, B, D, F, A for bass. How the hell do you know any of this? And then, and then realize he's horrendously fucking stupid. I've been into playing music since pre-K. Jeez, roll with it. She's been playing a long time. So does it take that long to learn that horrid thing? I point at the class electric guitar. No, I started with piano. I didn't get my first guitar until freshman year. You know, is that just me? Is it really clever? The fact that the way she's hinted at getting back into music in ending three, spoiler alert, the way she's actually hinted at is is that what ends up happening was that she plays piano and she plays a theme. Lucy, you know, plays the theme, right? But the thing about it actually is that when she plays it, the thing about it is it's like, oh, this is our theme. But the first time she ever started doing music when she was a kid was with piano. That is very clever. That is very well written, and I just noticed it now. I didn't even realize that. I don't know if they started with this. I don't know if this was even in the original game, but I'm pretty sure it was. That's so smart. The piano, isn't that the hardest one? I have no clue what I'm talking about. Maybe for some, but I started early and got ahead. My grandma, ha my grandma had an old piano she would let me mess with and around with. She would try to get me to play all kinds of songs, mostly church stuff because she wanted me to be a little goody two-shoes like she was. It was fun. Then I started taking piano lessons privately because my mom saw that I was interested in it. And in middle school, I joined the band for a while. I only quit because of marching season. I was not wearing a dumb uniform. Oh, I think she'd look good in one. Fang gets a strange expression. A mix between a blush and a scowl as she returns back to her snappy attitude. You done with that yet? It's been taking you way too long. Rather have you out of my way. Cute. I show her the half-finished worksheet. 
I still don't get this part. It's literally three classifications. It's really easy. It doesn't list them. Did you even read the page? Fang then grabs the paper and points at the top right. In a small box is a list of three types, woodwind, brass, and percussion. Oh. You still need me to help you with this, or do you have it from here? Of course I have it. I know this shit. It's just three categories. Percussion is simple enough. Getting the difference between woodwind and brass is a bit harder. Right, you know your stuff. Band stuff. I heard a sigh from Fang. I can't believe this. What is it? Why did you leave your old school? What, where did that come from? Just wondering, though. I think I know the answer. Why do you care? You're here for just two weeks and you've already wedged yourself in with my friends. I don't really have a choice there, Fang. I just wanted to cruise this year. I'm not good with friends. Sorry, just had a feeling I, may, I myself haven't gotten many new friends in a few years. It's like I make people avoid me. I don't like new people. I don't remember this being the way the discussion went. That's weird. Fuck them, you know? Oh, well, actually, that I remember. You act like you have had a, you have a hard time socializing. I'm not seeing it. Makes me think you didn't leave your school out of necessity because you really must have fucked up royally. I know your kind. I, I, what did Fang mean by that? She's racist is what she is. It all just came out of nowhere. I mean, jeez. We're talking about how she can't get her friends, but now she wants to know about that. Oh, God, I'm getting hot. It's Trish. Trish told Fang and now she knows everything. Play dumb? Hopefully that will work. I have no clue what you're talking about. Honestly, me neither. You're just some loser that knows nothing about music. You come in from your cave, or even your parents must have wanted you gone. And you're now both my science and music partner on top of warming your way with my my band and with my friends. Anon, what is there to understand? She's laughing. Hey, you okay? That's funny, come on. Ha uh ha. -huh. I'll almost miss you when you leave and start finding your own friends. Whatever you say, Fang. With the roll of her eyes, she returns to scrolling through her phone again. I seriously wonder now what she meant. I gotta go. You're leaving so soon. I'm going to the ba I'm going to the bathroom. Stupid. Oh, okay. Jeez. She knows, but how? She left her phone in the desk and see the imprint of the password being illuminated by the room's lamp. It it wouldn't be right, but I have to know. I reach over to pick up the phone. Some movement in the corner of my eye solidifies me. To read. Why is Reed still here? And on. Snurk. He's sleepy. Oh, thank Raptor Jesus, he's asleep. Fang's password is... Wait, only the one key is smudged? I guess it's worked until now. Ah, the messenger app. Hmm. Oh, shit. So let's actually look at this right here. I absolutely can't wait. I'm livid. Told Nacer to fuck off. Fang, where'd you go? Oh. Oh, that's so sad. So I, this is actually a very good moment. I really like this because it's the first time you actually get to see Fang kind of for who she really is. And that is behind the facade how she actually feels. If you look at the text message here, spoilers, by the way, someone just boosted. What? Really? Shit. Someone actually boost? Like, what the fuck? Who boosted? Yo, did someone actually boost chat? What the fuck? Uh, someone boost the server? What What are you talking about? Oh, someone. Cool Taco Man. Hey, man. Taco Man. Thanks for boosting the server, dude. Holy shit. Damn, thanks for the boost. The butter gremlin. Oh, God. But I was about to say, actually, the thing you'll notice here is that you can see that she was actually pumped up. I forgot about that. I forgot she actually wanted. She was looking forward to the band thing. And she thought she was going to do... He just bo boosted and welcomed my SDS. I'm, I'm going to tell him thank you soon, but... Shout out to that guy. He's in the secret society now because he boosted or he's a member. Being a member or being like either paying for the membership, which is cheaper than the booster, or paying for the booster or any other higher membership tiers in the Discord will actually make you a part of the secret society. But Fang, where did you go? Went home. Ward to explain. Cried a lot. 
I feel really bad for her because you can kind of tell, actually. I fucking hate Nacer so much. I don't know what to do now. Fang, don't worry. They're jackasses, all of them. We'll get back at them. You're very special. I mean, you're special, but it's like... you, you See, that's that's just... You, you don't need to say that. I can't eat. I can't get out of bed. I feel so lost. Like, I want to mount to anything in life. Or that my life isn't going to go anywhere. Yes, it will. We'll make it. Do you want me to come over? No. See you at school tomorrow, then? Fuck no. Yep, and this is kind of where it shows, like, why she wasn't there, why we didn't see her. Want me to come over, then? Maybe. You haven't come over in two in weeks. I miss you a lot. Wish you were right here with me. Trust me, Fang. I will help you, like always. Jeez, mm, the fucking emoticons. I hate it. I hate it so goddamn much. You coming? Yeah. I feel better. Oh, my God, the emoticons. So glad. Mm, hopefully Sage is still my science partner. It's been a while. Oh, Sage. Wow. I haven't seen Nacer all day. Good fuck him and Naomi Dale. Here, here. You come to school? Probably. Didn't miss much homework, thank God. Yesterday was weird. See you at the auditorium at lunch? Yeah, after science period. I need some update from you. See ya. There's surprisingly not a lot. Seems like they interact mostly in person. What did I even accomplish? Or just accomplish? I shouldn't have looked. All because of my paranoia. I just violated someone's privacy. You can feel a pit open in my stomach. I shouldn't have done it. Trisha's Fang's friend, not my, not me. God damn it, Anon. The fuck is wrong with you? I set the phone back where it was. I glance back at Reed and I can confirm that he's still unconscious. What's another secret to keep? Each one just building on the last, the growing maw in my gut threatens to make me violently ill. Oi! I'm startled as Fang retakes her seat. Did you manage to do anything on the sheet? I simply shake my head as I show her the incomplete worksheet. Fang sighs frustratedly. Look, I've been being a bother. It's simple, you dweeb. Fang began breaking down the questions, her tone less condescending uh, than when we initially started. The way she explained it was infinitely better than how Mr. Jingo did at the start of class. Over time, the sheet was slowly filled in. Things finally starting to click now. Looks like you get the hang of this bit. Good job, dork. Fang, slams, Fang smirks a bit. I see a chance to strike. Helps to have an actual decent teacher. The slight red tint tells me I was right on the mark. There's also the steady thump, thump, thump from her tail on the back of her seat to clue me in. I can't help thinking of tugging on the appendage. Wait, the thumping. Thump, 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 thump. Hey, uh, is your, is your tail drumming right now? Hmm, oh, that, kinda, kinda. I'm feeling out of rhythm. Thinking of a new song. Is that normally part of the creative process? Maybe, maybe not. Are you done with the packet yet? I groan. Still got our half a page left. That's just a crossword puzzle. I'm not, help I'm not helping if you can't do even that. I know, I know. I have to resort to good old logic to solve the crossword. The longest and shortest words are easy enough to figure out. But, uh... Hmm? Thanks for helping me with the assignment, I mean. Oh, yeah, sure. Here's that weird tin again. I'll help again, I mean, if you need it. Really, thanks. Yeah, just... Oh. That's the belly telling us to piss off to the last period. Crap, I still got a few words left. I guess the last few words and... I, I guess the last few words and rush over the teacher's desk to turn in. When I turn back, I catch a sign of a set of fang leaving the room in a hurry. He's held between her legs. She's not that bad once you get to know her. I guess he was right after all. God, I feel like a jerk now. It's been a couple of days since I snooped on Fang's phone. The guilt still weighs on me, but I found a way to cope with it. Even more aggressive shitposting on a Hungarian steak sampling vlog site. I would be enjoying my day by myself in my apartment playing games and shitposting. It's Saturday after all. Except I'm walking to school. Fuck my life. F my life. As it turns out, the school keeps a log of what the Wi-Fi bandwidth goes to. And the IT guy probably wasn't too thrilled to see I'd been using it to download the entire Saturnia collection. Sphere sentenced me to one week campus beautification for using taxpayer money on a few dozen gigs of videos. Oh. Well, now I know the space the torrenting out a bit more. Shit, as I get to closer to the dreaded building, the more the thought of ditching crosses my mind. But then the thought of Principal Spears pops up and violently pile drives it into a Prius. Weird thought, but enough to discourage me from ditching. So here I am now, walking to the side and where the gardens of the school are. 
I can see others are here as well. Probably all for detention, too. Wait a sec, isn't that Fang? Why is she talking to that green weirdo from before? Wait another sec. Are they getting closer? Stella. No, I am. When I walk up to them, seeing Fang only makes the guilt and more intense. I cast my gaze aside instead. Mm. Of course, Tiara. <laughs> Chat says, of course, Anon would torrent anime on school Wi-Fi. Flower time, yeah. I see you are wor I see you are admiring our work. The gardening club takes much pride in our flowers. Boy, shit. For such a large girl, she's surprisingly stealthy. Good morning, Rosa. Ready for today? See. Si. It is a beautiful day for gardening, isn't it? Er, you wanna be here? Rosa's the head of the gardening club. Really? Hmm. Judging by Fang's tone, she's been through this kind of attention multiple times already. Oh, does he wish to join our club? Is that why he's here? Stella, Stella, we have a new member. Oh, wonderful. My eyes are drawn to the green strego, who I immediately recognize from that encounter with the cards. Hey, you're that weird singer from the other day. Oh, you didn't have to say weird. He smiled, falters over so slightly. Did I get the wrong person? My name is Stella. I'm not weird. Right, so what was this, the pocket raptor cards? I was just saying what my tarot guide book told me. The, uh, work of an astrologer is to show people what fate has in store for them. And that's what I do. Astrologer, really. But there will always be those who aren't able to accept what their fortune tells. A, that's stupid. Two, astrology's stupid. And thirdly, that sounds like something from a bad video game. No, I, uh... Aww. Aw, oh, poor Stella. <laughs> the silky stego is pulled into a hug by the happy Hispanic girl. There, there, Stella. You're still my friend no matter how much of the black arts you believe. <laughs> you're, belie you're one to talk about believing black arts, Rosa. You and your magic dino in the sky. Oh, wow. I pinche pagana. You're lucky I don't... Get all your asses out front right now! Oh, damn. The caveman's bellow reverberates throughout the entire school. Even though I'm pretty sure he wasn't using the PA station system. Not wanting to piss him off even more, I follow the others to where Principal Spears as a few other students gather in front of him. The only one I recognize is the guy Trish had in a headlock that one day. Didn't expect you of all people to get attention. Attention. It takes me a moment to realize Fang is talking to me. I uh, hear use too much of the school bandwidth. What? Spears catch you downloading prawn in the library or something? No, just torrenting like TV shows that I can't get on cable. She raises an eyebrow like she doesn't believe me, but doesn't follow it up. She must never find out about Saturnia. Oh God. I'm glad you can make it, Anon. I think that's just about everyone. Not that he gave me much of a choice. You can think, Naomi, you can think, Naomi, that you got off with campus beautification. She was quite adamant that it would be more constructive than homeroom detention. Again? God damn it! My first, my schedule, and lunch card, and now this. Can't you just leave me alone already? All right. I'm sure you're all familiar with Rosa. She'll be supervising today. If there a bad word from her about any of you, I think I can fill in the rest. Spears nods to Rosa. Her reminds me of Naomi with how overly happy she looks. Thank you all so much for coming to, out to help with campus beautification today. If we all work hard and have a good time, we can get done before you know it. How can anyone be so enthusiastic about coming to school on the weekend? So by the end of the day, we need to get weeding done in the gardens, as well as we planting older flowers, and some of the vines are ready to be trimmed back. Ugh. Make sure you all get a pair of gloves and to return them before you leave. Flower time, Rosa time. Fang raises her hand. Fingerless don't count. Fang lowers her hand. You should all pair off now to split the work evenly. Decide amongst yourselves. Even in detention, the partner curse her aunt haunts me. Everyone else almost immediately groups off. Leaving just me and take a wild guess who else. Fang, I don't like how often this is happening. Can't say I'm a big fan either. Whatever, let's just take vine trimming and get this over with. Fang starts heading to one of the ladders already set up near the wall. Wait, don't you need gloves? You get some if you're so concerned about getting a few cuts. 
Just don't get this chick sometimes. Huh. I get a pair of gloves and some loppers and rejoin Fang at the ladder. Alright, cool. Give me the snippy thing. I don't like that of you with a weapon very much. She flashes an evil grin. Hold the ladder steady while I do this. I've been here a few times. This is the easiest job of, uh, of the three. If you say so. Fang is quick to scale the ladder, leaving me to hold it in place. I wish I could ship post on my phone right now to distract myself while my hands are occupied. Fang's disregard of me is made extremely clear as she carelessly lets the remnants of the dead vines rain down on my head. Kind of glad I don't have hair because I can't imagine how bad it would be to just have these sticky plants bit t plant bits tingled, up, tingled in it. Oi, shift the ladder over. But you're still on it. Don't feel like getting down. Come on, you can't be that weak. Jeez, whatever. I shimmy the ladder to the side. Fang's weight making the process more difficult. Damn, my scrawny arms. Alright, this is good. Shows back to clipping vines and dropping them on my head. It's starting to build up on my shoulders and neck now, and now the spots the vines have touched start to itch. Hey! She, most, she remains focused on the vines, dropping the largest clump directly on my face. Hey! Never mind, the follow-up clump was even bigger than I was right in my mouth. I finished spinning the wad of dead vegetation from my mouth. I tried one last time to get her attention. Fang! Hmm, okay, interesting situation going on here. Interesting. Through my blurred vision, I can make out Fang's tail slowly shifting side to side, and an evil idea comes to mind to get her attention. There's a less evil one, too, something that just shock her. As I reach out to her, she drops another clump in my eyes, blinding me. I blindly grasp out, out, out her, at her until my fingers blushing at something covered in scales. And give the appendage a sharp tug. There's a shrill cry above me that got her attention. Stop dropping shit. Oh. Suddenly, stars explode in my sight, impaired, impaired eyes, and I fall backwards. There's a ringing in my ears, and I try to blink the vines and stars away. Never do that again. Damn, do what? The fuck did I do? Fucking pervert. What the fuck did I do? I can finally see if I can drink John behind her and her hands clasping on something also behind her. I think I fell in the flower bed behind us. It's actually sort of soft. You pulled my tail! I thought that was your ankle! What the fuck would you think my tail was my ankle? Because I couldn't see because you kept dropping fucking vines in my eyes. So you pulled my friggin' tail, you perverted fuck. You weren't listening to me when I was trying to tell you to stop! We're both out of breath and staring daggers at each other. My eyes are so blurry and starting to itch now because of the plants. Fang is still protectively holding her tail as if I'll pull, pull it again. Wh why is your face all red? I was trying to tell you. These vines fucking hurt. That makes no sense at all. Oh wait, yeah, humans. You toss another discarded vine on my face. Cut that out. Huh, I could report you for allergy abuse. That's the weakest threat I've ever heard. Damn. Actually, in general, you seem a bit milk toast around people. What gives? I start prying off some of the vines stuck to my clothes. It's like, why waste time on certain people, you know? It wouldn't be worth my time to do something crazy. Fang leads forward on the ladder, pretending to be hurt. Oh, I'm not worth your time. Some people certainly aren't. Just never meant to amount to anything or do anything important. She drops a smug expression for a, per a second. Anyways, you should get up. Rosa will kill you if she sees you crumple during her stupid flowers. A yell echoes from somewhere across the school grounds. He what? Shit, hurry up. Hang on. I try leaning up. The bushes intertwine with my clothes. I'm stuck. You actual... Rosa scrambles over and starts pulling out her hair when she sees me stuck in the bush. Oh! You! Oh! Why? Oh! Estupido! Que clase de ridiculo y patetica! Excusa de hombre eres tu! Ah! Wait. Your position. She points a burning finger up at Fang. Did you push him? Fang's scene goes a shade paler. Uh, no, I fell on my own. Sorry. Covering for fame. Sorry. What kind of pentejo manages to fall into middle, my middle mist with it camellias that are on his own? I shrug ap apologetically. I just... Ugh, do you have any idea how long it takes for those to bloom? Name! What is your name? Er... Uh, Anon. Anon. Why are you still in there? Get up, niño. Get up. She grabs one of my hands and whoa! You're trying to rip my arm off? She grabs a bicep proudly. I say all the time. Outside York is good for your health. Think I'll stick to stealing the occasional protein bar from Nacer stock. 
Wait, then non, why is your face so red? The uh, vines, I guess I have an allergy. Oh, no, 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 you must stop working vines then. She points back up to Fang. You, get down from there, you are both switching to weeds. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Go, go now, and no more tripping. She's got a crucifix in her hand, what the hell, a rosary. We go exchange our equipment for weeding trowels. Oh my god, sorry. Once we get directed to a place in the dirt to start, Fang and I diligently continue in silence for a bit. Why did you lie earlier? Hmm? About how I kicked you. Uh, spur of the moment, I guess. Seemed like the easiest way to get out of getting more trouble. Sure. What do you mean, sure? Sure, it was the easiest way to get out of trouble. Uh, why did you really do it? What do you mean? You know, your reasons, real reasons. Your recta ratio. Recta ratio, fancy words out of you. But I don't understand. You fucking moron. What was your motive? Why would you care? Uh, I had to think about that for a moment. Why did I do that? You said something before about how some people won't ever amount to anything. Oh, uh, yeah, that was, a. Uh... What did you mean by that? Why the fuck is she so curious? I don't know. You'd probably think I'm some creep for saying this. I already think you're a creep. Fair, but fuck you regardless. Her retort is a prominent flipping of the bird. I don't know, it's like the world is too full, and there's only going to be more people as time goes on. Eventually we'll run out of food and resources, but culture will be too far gone to really fix anything. Fang stops digging for a moment and gives an attentive scare out of the corner of her eye. Midwifts and morons have kids like crazy, and the number of smart people in the world remain stagnant. Even goes down over time. Nobody's immune to propaganda, and useful people can be indoctrinated right into the crowds, you know? I told you it'd sound weird. No, actually, that's... wow. It's actually exactly how I feel about things. She what? Fang is acting strangely enthusiastic all of a sudden. Right, like, in all of history, if you really look at it, the smart people have never even once had to answer to the excess. Back in the day, innovation was propelled by smart people working with other smart people. Trying all sorts of new things, the masses would have hated. Like rock music, right? People hated that at first. When my band takes off, I'll get to rub it in everyone's faces. All those cock goblins, it's like everywhere you go, there's a hundred dumb people for one person worth anything. What'd you call it before, excess? Yeah, like Naomi. Right. She's pretty smart. Most people in the school, even. I could see it. Maybe Reed? Not sure. Rosa and Stella, definitely. What the? These are two, unfortunately. Oh, well. All of them sheep. Too casually brush everyone aside like that. What did she think of me, then? If you think so little of Rosa and Stella and everyone, why hang out with them? I don't even like, I don't like being alone. You don't need to know anymore. As long as they aren't the sort of people that showed up that day at our concert. Those lazily, talentless, inconsiderate, self-righteous, condescending excuses of peers. Excuses for peers. Thinking they can just make fun of our music. Ah, uh, yeah, those guys suck. Their interests weren't that, even that creative. Uh-oh! Fang's arm drinks back violently, pulling a bundle of reeds and tops out onto, onto my jacket. Hey! What is that supposed to mean? Oh, shit, her eyes scrutinize me thoroughly. But why? Oh. Oh, shit. My foot tastes a bit salad like today, damn gardening. Or just gossip I had from classmates afterwards. We both know that's a lie. I feel anxious as Fang continues watching me. I watch it happen as if in slow motion as comprehension dawns on Fang. Her voice is low, accusatory. You were at the show? My heart stops. There it is. I couldn't have hoped to hide it forever. Fang stands over me, her wings spread wide and her shoulders shaking. I... how do I explain this? We're close enough friends now, right? I could probably even joke about it a bit. Explain it to her honestly is probably what you should do. I guess honesty is the best policy. Indeed it is! In business, same thing. Always be honest, as much as you can. Well, Nacer did invite me to your concert, and I did end up going. Fang's expression hardens and she crosses her arms. He told me there'd be free food, so I figured why not? It's not like I knew it was going to end up the way it did. So why did you why did you tell us you didn't go? Because I kept seeing your psycho friend hunting down everyone else who would, who went. Why would I make myself a target? Trish was only looking for the dicks who... Did you laugh at us too? She dabs an accusatory finger at me. Fang, I... Did you laugh? I open my mouth to answer, but the words aren't coming to me. Fang seems to pick up on my inability to answer. Oh, she's mad. I fucking knew it. Look, Fang, I'm sorry, right? I didn't know. I can't believe you right now. She's freaking mad. Fang begins to storm off and I try to chase after her. Well, Fang, wait. 
But my self-defeating clumsiness seems to have a different plan, and my foot catches on the pile of discarded gardening tools. Uh, the world spins in a land of my ass before where we were weeding. At least something broke my fall. Wait, isn't this the flower bed? Another one. Suddenly, an orange chair descends upon me like I saw some sort of alarm. Should have been Los Flores, but whatever. Uh, sorry. Ay, Dios mío. Do you have any idea how long it takes for those to bloom and for you to just tumble onto them again? I jumped to my feet quickly and inspect the damage. The entire section of the flower bed is where I had landed. It was imprinted with my outline like a snow angel. Just my luck. Rosa, I didn't mean. It doesn't matter what you meant. Once is forgivable, but twice, twice. Okay, daddy, wait. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am saved by a green stegosaurus grabbing the mighty arm of judgment out of the air mid-swing with the chancla. Rosa, Rosa. Remember what we talked about. Seam rips from Rosa's nostrils like a bull. Don't use physical force to make people hurt, okay? The thank you, Stella Rosa. That's what manual labor is for, right? Yes, yes, of course. Enslave him. You, and on you will help the extra two hours after everyone else, too. For flowers? For flowers. Are you sure you wouldn't rather just beat me? I could do both. Where did Fang go? I uh, did something I shouldn't have. She ran off. You ruined the flowers of friendship like you do of my labor. You should go find Fang and apologize and bring her back. If you don't share someone's pain, you can never understand them. Did this bitch just quote Naruto of all things? Yeah, she did. If I weren't being directed to leave, I would have bailed anyways. I saw her going toward the, toward the, towards the parking lot. I'll be right back. Alright. You better! Karate chop! Chunkless. There aren't many cars in the parking lot, so Fang shouldn't be too hard to find. That pair of wings rustling in between two parked cars is probably a hint. Not sure. I silently approach, hiding behind the other cars in the lot. She's huddled around the passenger door of a garishly level yellow minivan. What is she? Shit, I gotta stop her. Fang, what are you doing? Fuck off, fuck knuckle. Oh, jeez. Fang, don't bring it to a teacher's car. We'll get... Shut the fuck up, smuggler. I'm focusing on this. I'm over it. Why are you doing this? It'll be fun. <laughs> Why, you want to join on, on a joyride? She looks at me like it's a genuine question. No, I don't. Oh, shit. Fang, what are you doing? Stop kicking the car. Damn it, Fang. I don't know what more to say. Except I'm sorry. I messed up and that was a dick move. But if you keep this up, we'll both be going... What do you care? We're already in detention. What's a few more days? Just 17 more years. I'll make another kid. Just like that. What, seven more years to jail, Fang? Go away. You want to get our parents involved? Fang stops kicking the glass, drain of energy and out of breath. Thankfully, the glass isn't even scratched. Thank God. You're right for being angry at me. You're talented and skill uh, skilled, and I got nothing to show for myself, and what I did was wrong. But you're better than this. Come on. Fang will, won't look in my direction. At least she hasn't started kicking the car again. Might be a good idea to give her some space. All of a sudden, I feel like I shouldn't be here. Hey! What are you guys doing to my car? We freeze. Get out of here. Get out of there. Get the fuck out of Dodge! Fang immediately bolts towards the front of the school. I follow after, legs pumping furiously in an attempt to both catch up to Fang and avoid the teacher screeching at us from behind. I see Fang veer into the school, the door closing slowly after. By the jacket on my back, I'm able to slip in just before the door shuts completely. Fang is panting in the stairwell near the door, and I'm sure I'm redder than I was earlier with the vines. Why <laughs> did you follow me? Why? Be because I'm sorry. 
her sneer returns and she makes her turn to turn away. I fucked up. Yes, I was at that concert. And yes, I laughed. I never expected to actually become your friend. Her rings block my view of her. But she hasn't left yet. Maybe I can fix this after all. I just wanted to coast through school. I was happy being a loner. I've always been one after all. Without a word, Fang climbs the stairs. Fuck. I consider following, but her silence was evident, evidence enough she wants nothing to do with me. And standing here by myself, I have time to think of my own admission. If Fang leaves me alone, I'll get exactly what I want, right? She could probably talk to Trish and Lee Reed into leaving me alone, too. I'll get the easy life I wanted. So why the fuck do I feel absolutely empty right now? Hello, Pushungor. Hello, Pushungor. I am not Russian. I sign, slump on over the stairs. Can today get any worse? Oh, there's the Stega Stella. Karma would suggest yes. Oh. You know, I always thought the tempting fate thing was just a gem cliche. Rosa! I found our errant runaway. Hear the shrill screech of a, of a Latina banshee approaching. Where did you go? You were supposed to get Feng in return! Return! Oh, right. So, uh, sorry. You will be sorry. There's two hours left for the rest of the students, but that makes four for you. Do not worry, Anon. We stay as well. Great. The next few hours are grueling hell. Carrying bags of the most rancid smelling fertilizer back and forth. Clearing entire sections of flower bed a flower bed of weeds using only a towel. Tilling the same flower beds by hand. I don't think the phrase backbreaking labor was supposed to be literal. As is expected of home hombres. I could already tell that by the end of the day I would have crippling arthritis. Fang returns eventually, but still won't talk to me, just sticks nearby cutting vines. Only an hour has passed when I'm re about ready to go sleep for a daze. And none! We will now be replanting the flowers you destroyed. Destroyed is a harsh word. But I don't know anything about planting. You speak of the Sorry about that, I'm back. My bad. Sorry, let me read that. Rosa points up at Fang, who's still aggressively trimming back the vines. Damn it, why does this thing keep unplugging? Son of a bitch. Gotta talk like this through it. There we go. Rosa points up at Fang, who is still aggressively trimming back the vines. Apologies for that. Fang, do you want to plant some too? I'll pass. With a practiced hand, Rosa clears out a cylindrical hole deep enough for the clump to go in. Okay, it's ready. My arms are practically rubber from today's work, and I are faltering to the point pieces of dirt are being shaken off. A little bit from the hole, I have to catch the whole thing when it slips from my grip. Rosa puts her hand around mine to steady them before I drop it for real. Very easy. Like this. The bulb is placed in the hole and we let go. Yeah, I know. Is my mic working now? Is it working now? Is it good now? Is my mic working now? I hope it is. Let me check. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, Rosa quickly fills up the patch of dirt with the trowel and leaving only the stem and flower visible. You did it! That's cool. It doesn't seem like I did much at all. Hush now. We still have dozens left to plant. The cleaning wine rumbles from my mouth. Can't I just take the beating instead, please? I'll do that if you really want. If you want to borrow my slipper, I'd prefer the shovel. I'm right here and do not resuscitate me after. Fang's chuckle helps to lighten my mood immensely. Maybe. Hmm. I continue replanting flowers under Rosa's care and yet Orwellian, Orwellian supervision. 
At noon, the bellowing of our principal calls us back up to the front of the school. Okay. Thank you all again for showing up today. I hope that you're, through your hard work, all of you learned a valuable lesson. I catch Fang rolling her eyes from the corner of my vision. Please do stay safe on your way home, and try to keep out of trouble in the future. Dismissed. Alright, look at freaking Rosa. Not you, Anon. You stay. Right, and before everyone goes, Rosa approaches, holding a covered pot and paper plates. I made lunch for everyone. The small crowd, the small crowd gets a bit more energetic. Home cooked more poblano. Poblano. Enough for seconds and thirds. I graciously accept a plate and stack it high with salty, sweet goodness. The hot food is absolutely heavenly, reinvigorating me as I bite into the Mexican meal. Mmm, so filling. Yeah, wish I could cook like that. Wait. I look around and see that the only ones left are Rosa, Stella, Fang, and I. Even Spears has gone home. Fang, about... Oh. All right, then on. Back to work. You stole me two hours of heavy lifting. Oh, don't be sad. You're a natural green thumb. When you're not laying on my flowers, that is. I don't really get compliments. It's just circumstance. It's not like I'm actually doing any, le any less or lazy or unskilled. Hold on, I'm not done yet. We can wait a bit while you two finish. You need to, all your energy, after all. These guys aren't half bad. I thought they were slave drivers, but then again, I did ruin their hard work. Still, I've been meaning to ask. Why are you like this? Like what? You know, the whole thing with astrology and quoting Naruto. Video games. Oh, I don't know. I guess it's just the stuff I like. Right. Why do you ask? Oh, are you interested in it too? Uh, or maybe some other time, Stella. That's cute. The rest of lunch passed by without incident. I'm left savoring Rosa's delicious cooking. Like they say, the first rule of Mexican food, the more it looks like raw, raw sewage, the better it tastes. The second rule, of course, is that if the drink is coming out from, like, I don't know, a really crummy cup, it's probably really good stuff. Take this from a Hispanic myself. I mean, I'm not Mexican, I'm Puerto Rican, but the rule is the same. The next two hours of work fly by relatively quickly without Rosa and Stella breathing down my neck. Replant the rest of the flowers I'd crushed, all done by me. Collecting all of the discarded vines and clippings into compost bins, all done by me. Carry all of the tools back in the maintenance shed. Take a guess who did it. Fang stuck around for some reason, even though I don't think she had any other work to do. But now my prison sentence is finally over, and I'm free to go. My feet hurt, my arms hurt, my back hurts. Anon, you did such a good job today! You should sign up for the gardening club! Yeah, you could come home and help out with all of our meetings. I just want to go home. That's... I'll think about it. I walk away before either of them can push joining their club further. I'm too tired to argue. It's quite cute. Fang seems to have disappeared. Guess she didn't want to stick around longer than she had to, after all. As I pass by some of the gardens, I take a moment to admire my handiwork. As much as I didn't want to be here, I have to admit they look a lot cleaner than before. See, that's what I—that—that's what doing some actual hard work for once can do. Fang's sudden appearance from me behind me makes me flinch. I guess she stuck around after all. A wimp like you could use it too. So now Fang is suddenly talking to me again. Yeah, sure. Now all the important, uh, important and beautiful plants can thrive without any of the useless weeds choking them up and holding them back. All oh, right, I almost forgot. Fang, Fang thinks people like me are barely worth the oxygen. Not that I really blame her after her earlier. Yeah, well, don't let the weeds like me get in your way. I sigh and turn away from her Fang, beginning my very achy walk home. Time to go and sleep for 20 hours. Jeez. And on wait. I stop in my tracks. Now what does she want? Look, I said I was sorry, okay? I laughed at you guys and ruined your concert. I don't care if you never want to talk to me again. I just don't know what else you want me to say. Anon, it... It's not the concert I'm upset about. What? It's not? I mean, maybe a little bit, but... I'm mad because you kept it from me, okay? It's just, I haven't made many friends in, well, a while. I don't want to lose an actual friend over stupid bullshit like that. I just thought you would have trusted me enough to tell me the truth. I... Is this why you stuck around earlier? She hesitates before nodding, like she needed to convince herself. Not that it matters, but I'm sorry too. You, for what? Kicking me in the face? I might have overreacted a bit earlier, but you did deserve it. 
I'm sorry for calling you one of the weeds. You're not a weed, you're, I don't know, a mushroom or some shit. A mushroom, not like the cool tree or a cactus or something? Hell no, you're not that cool. Mushrooms take all the bad shit and turn into nutrients and all for all the good plants, you know? Plus, you kind of look like the one, too. Oh, wow. Fucking rude. That's like the nicest thing I think I've ever heard you say. Now you're pushing it. I let out a sigh of relief. Can't say that's how I expected this conversation to go. I guess we're both assholes, then. <laughs> yeah, friends. Friends. So, uh, why do you know so much about mushrooms, exactly, Reed? Fang gives me a sideways, gl sideways glance and smiles a bit. Spend enough time around Stella and Rosa and you pick up a few gardening facts. Yeah, first impressions aside, they're pretty alright, I guess. Stella's a bit weird and Rosa's a walking stereotype. <laughs> a dork like you calling Stella weird? A dork like me has every right to call out Stella. Sure, sure. Anyway, I'll be seeing you, Anon. Yeah, see ya. Fang rolls away, humming some tune I've never heard. Left alone now with just my thoughts, I find myself feeling a great lift, weight lift from me. Friends, huh? I can't recall the last time I had a legitimate friend. Some people certainly aren't. Just never meant to amount to do anything or any do anything important. I just don't know anymore. Alright. With that having been said, I think I'll leave it here. I'll end the stream around here and stuff. Thank you all for joining in for the stream and the such. We actually did pretty well today. Got up to like around 20 viewers at one point, which is fucking awesome concurrently. Thank you all so much. Uh, I will now end this poll finally. I didn't even know it was still up. Uh, don't leave, though. We're going to redirect you guys, okay? I'm going to redirect the stream. So uh, see you all next time on, I think it's Wednesday or something. Good day.